Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today, 17 of the Slime Experiments development. All right. Let, let's jumble up the songs a little bit here. I want to always place first. There we go. Okay. So, last time we had made a lot of progress on World 5 and got all the way to level 5-7. So now we're beginning on level 5-8. And as I had mentioned last time, I came up with the ideas for worlds, excuse me, worlds 5-8, 5-9, and 5-10. And at that point, the game's done. All we have to do is some final touches, test play, and then we're Gucci for the most part. Uh, and then the game is completed. So will we be able to do that all on this stream? I don't know, especially the test playing part, since if it is going to take over two hours, who can really tell? Uh, but might as well give it the good old college try, as they say. So let's waste no time and flip over to our main monitor here. Now, if we take a look at my document here, I can show you the level ideas that I have. So for 5-8, I was thinking we can fill a room with levers, conveyors, ice, uh, and whatever, where you have to release the slime and get it to a specific pressure plate. But if you're not fast enough, uh, it goes back to the starting area and you have to go again. Um, I was thinking maybe having pressure plates that rotate the conveyor belts ahead of you or ahead of the slime so that you can't just, you know, flip all the levers to have them all go the correct way and then the slime gets released and goes down um, because it'll like start resetting the conveyor belts as it progresses. So that seems like it could be interesting. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. For level five, nine, I was thinking we could go into different rooms to flip switches, to close gates, to keep the slime out, then do stuff in that room before leaving and avoiding the slime again, potentially. I don't know how that one will shake out, especially since the slime can get stuck on things and whatever, but eh, it seems like it could be neat. All right. And then for the final level, I was thinking of a convoluted sort of way to get a destroyer block from behind doors and stuff so that you can kill the red slime with it and then leave. And to have the, the, the culmination of the red slime arc be you destroying the red slime with the destroyer block and finishing it off. Right? Of course, the, the, uh, the, the scientist forces the slime to kill the brother, right? Well, not necessarily a brother, but you know. Okay. So, I think for this particular one, what we want to do is have the slime start over here, and we want to create a row of conveyor belts here, perhaps, and we want them to be at 180 rotation like this, and we want them to go to the left. Okay, and I'm just going to copy all of these over to here. Like so, if I could be doing this, that'd be great. I'll do one more right here, and then let's go ahead and we will uh, make sure on the collider tile map, do this. And then that, um, should I perhaps do this and then that and then we can put a pressure plate here where the slime needs to touch, right? So this pressure plate is going to open up a gate, it's going to be here, and 
then we'll have our exit right down there. Nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and change these things real quick. There's that. Then we need to set set the endpoint to be down here. Perfect. Okay. And then the pressure plate, we need to have it do one object, trigger once, and then the vertical. Nope. Also going to remove exit triggers just in case. All right, so we just want the slime to hit that once. I'm going to call it good. Okay, so. Now we have to work out what we're going to do here, right? And go from there. Uh, so first, let's figure out where we're going to put the red slime to begin with. I could potentially start him here. We might start moving. I think, I think if I hit play, it'll actually move the entire cage, right? No. Okay. Is that because his moving has to be triggered on? Yep. Okay. So I could potentially put him here. And all these conveyor belts, I should actually slow down to a force of one, just to have them... Uh, a little bit slower to give the players the time to actually do some stuff. Okay, and then we can get a number of levers here. So we'll get this one, we'll get this one, this one, this one here, like that. And we can have them manipulate various things, but I think we need to actually make the conveyor belt go a little bit longer. So let's use the area up here to do just that. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to move it down here for safekeeping, and then we'll remove, well we don't have to remove any others actually. So let's grab this one and we're going to switch it to 90. Yeah. Okay. That one's going to go up and we're going to make it go at a rate of three just because we want it to be a little bit well, no, we, I guess we should keep it at a rate of one. But wouldn't it just, wouldn't the slime just end up walking past it then? Hmm. Keep it at a level of one. And we can just make sure that the red slime, which we're going to move at the top thing here, um, we'll make sure that he moves at a rate of one just to be really slow. Uh, and hopefully he can get taken down through this thing here. So. He's going to go up through here, like so, and then we can grab our left conveyor belt that we had moved, put it here, like so. Now we just need to get a conveyor belt that goes down, so negative 90, down, that in place. Go, all right. And now for these conveyor belts here, and do, 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 do. I'm just gonna move these down to here. So that's gonna be our, our main path that we're, oh, face palm, that we're going to want the slime to take. But there are going to be some hazards along the way, right? Namely, I think this block here, we're going to have face down, so we'll go negative 90. And we'll go downwards. Mm hmm, okay, like that. And it's gonna stay going that rate of speed. But I'm going to add some of this here. We'll also do that over here as well. And then one more kind of in the middle here, if you believe, like this. Okay. 
traffic. Just like that. Or maybe not. Maybe I do something like this, and then... No, no. Better idea. Like this. And then we have these ones go inwards as well. Go to this conveyor belt. Goes down and around. Right? Okay. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and make these also face to their other direction. So we want this one to go left. So 180 degrees. And this one we have to go right. So 0 degrees. Perfect. This one up here, we also want to go down. So, negative 90 degrees. Like so. And then we just got to uh, copy all of these conveyor belts down further. Like so. Um, I'm just gonna go, whoop, not like that. I'm just gonna go, boop, 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 boop. Copy, paste, and we just bring that entire row over. Like that. And then we just need to copy these conveyor belts here and here, like so, so they all converge into there. And then we have our four lovers, which are uh, going to be doing these. Let's just make sure we get the right conveyor belts here. So this is going to be conveyor belt 13. I'm going to get a uh, little notepad here. So. <laughs> Conveyor belt 13, conveyor belt 17, I guess it's going to be 19, yep, and then 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, yep, 24, okay. So we got conveyor belts 13, 17, 19, and 24. Let's go ahead and link those up to these levers so that we can... Uh, do this. Uh, I think conveyors is multiple objects. So we have 13. And this one is going to start uh, by moving it up. The original direction was left. Second, well, let's go ahead and just select all of them real quick and do this. Then that, that, and okay. Talking to them on the one. So this one's going to be object number 17. Or conveyor 17, sorry. And this one is going to be moving to the left. The original position is down. Same thing with this one. It's going to go left, down. But we need to drag over number 19 here. There. And then the last, blah, 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 blah lever. It needs to go down. Their direction is to the right. And we need to drag over 24 there. Excellent. Okay. That's all the conveyor belts. And if we uh, were to spawn in, I can go ahead and start flicking the levers. Bloop, 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 bloop. As you can see, all of them have turned the correct directions. If I were to release the slime, he should start going around them. Um, my only concern is whether or not this is fast enough to get him to go in here or like past them. I don't know since the slime is always trying to come towards us, right? That's the one problem that we're gonna have. Regardless, after this, we can have the slime um, we need to take I could just take these conveyor belts. I can make them go zero to the right. We can just go ahead and lift these ones up here and over like this. And we just need to grab one more and then one more to flip upwards. And this will be uh, 90. There we go. So there's our, our circuit complete for the conveyor belts. I was actually expecting to use more of the room. Uh, yeah. 
well, what you gonna do? Hmm. I wonder if there's a better way to do this. Hmm. Like, maybe I could remove some of the conveyor belts and add in a... Add in some ice? Also, thinking about it, if the uh, slime comes in through here and uh, touches these, moves at a rate of one, so down here, it's going to basically just get stuck trying to come towards us while the conveyor tries to move it backwards. Mm. What I could do is let's, let's remove this one. We'll give this one ice. It's going to be the end, and it can't move any directions. Let's also remove this one to make it symmetrical, and also add ice. It's also going to be the end, so that way if the slime hits the ice, it's just going to slide into the middle uh, without any real fuss there. Right? Okay. Which means I can probably switch this one to a force of two, which it actually was. Uh-oh. I got off somewhere here. Okay, well, uh, first of all, I also want to put like a wall here, I think. Um, that would be very useful. We do something like that. Then we can prevent the slime from, uh, getting in this column, which would just kind of ruin things. We want it to be on conveyor belts. Also, I just noticed this conveyor belt right here needs to be facing downward. Don't know how I missed that one. But I think everything else should be fine. I think from here and then down we have, oops. 22 and then down, we have it going to speed. I'm just gonna check the speed on all of these real quick. Okay, so one, 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 one. This one's going two, but we needed to go two so we can get that guy in there. Maybe all the conveyor belts that move, I can have be a speed of two. Perhaps? Hmm. Well, anyway, before we get too far into things, I'm going to go ahead and add this pressure plate here, and it is going to be a conveyor belt, specifically number 17. Uh, flip direction is going to be down, original direction uh, is, is also down. I guess. Okay, so is one object. Let me just double check the coding on this one. Um, make sure I know how we get into the pressure plate or the conveyor belt thing, sorry. So let's see, conveyor belt. Uh. So we do trigger, then undo trigger. So we check first if we enter, if it's a destroyer block, we ignore it. With tag equals, oh, do trigger. We also have down here, we check to see if conveyor to manipulate it with null do trigger, okay. Perfect, so all we have to do is have that item in the conveyor belt thing, and it works. All right. So, don't forget, we want to have this uh, pressure plate kind of below everything. 
So we need uh, very belt. 14, we want to bring up to the above background level. There we go. I'm just gonna set that at one. The pressure plate will go back to above background zero. So that way the pressure plate's underneath it. Um, and after that, we can go ahead and up here, we'll add another pressure plate, grab that one. And we'll set this one to be above background one. Another pressure plate here. This pressure plate, it's going to, uh, I don't need to do any of this, right? Yeah, so this one's gonna be also down and down, and this conveyor belt is going to be a number 19. This one triggers that one, that one triggers that one. And as we're going around, I might as well just copy and paste the pressure plate here. Once we hit the corner, we'll have it manipulate that one. So let's bring number 24 down to here. And we want it to go to the right and right. There we go. Okay. So with that, we shouldn't have to do anything else, I don't think. Okay. Excellent. So, um, I do just need to change that conveyor belt. But I did. Is that dumb? Hmm. We just need to change that to be above background so all the pressure plates are hidden. So the slime cannot see them, or so the player can't see them, sorry. And then that's kind of just resetting that circuit there. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm noticing this little circuit game is sort of barren uh, in terms of stuff inside of it. There's not really much, uh, much here. There's a lot of empty space in this map. Well, let's, let's first of all, let's test this out so we can flip all the levers. Release it. And yeah, it's, it's gonna just... Okay. Yeah, it's uh, not as good as I thought it was going to be. Maybe on the ones where there's not a wall, we need to change the speed a little bit. So let's go with like force of two, this one, force of two. The problem is when you're mixing the different speeds, we were seeing a very big issue that would arise. This one, force of two, also the previous and down, I also need to be force of two, or else I think you'll get through too quickly. Um, everything else here is fine, but this column right here, 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 we want to go force of two. Might as well make the first one force of two as well. Why not? And then we need all of these ones at the bottom. This one, that one should be a force of two as well. But we also need to do the original ones that we need here. here, 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 here. Also need a force of two so we can actually move the slime. All right, so let's test this out one more time. Okay, so we'll just go boop. I'll release the slime, make sure he gets past here. He does not. How did he go up? Oh, well, because I'm up a little bit? Interesting. If I were to stay down here, he would go all the way to the end. And then he gets stuck there because we weren't up high enough for him to want to walk upwards. Hmm, okay. Well, I think he's really screwed now because the conveyor belts are just all jacked up. 
This might not work. Hmm. Okay. This plan, yeah, I'm realizing that. This never really works. Although, what if... I think I've been thinking about this the wrong way. I've been thinking that, oh yeah, so we want the slime to, you know, come towards us because that's what it does. But what if we flip the script? I'm going to go ahead and just delete all the conveyor belts because we just want to start fresh, I think. And then I'll just go ahead and get rid of these pressure plates too and that ice. And we'll keep the pressure plates that we want here. So what if we take the slime back to here? And I'm going to just real quick create a... Uh, Empty for that. You down one. Also forgot to name it, so enemy spawn, there we go. Okay. So let's just assign these real quick. Enemy Enemy spawn and the pressure plates all sign here too. Along with the gate and all of these levers, which currently don't do anything, but that's fine. I just wanna make sure that the slime responds in the correct position. Lever script is not going to side right. Hey, lovers, come here. I'm going to remove you because I can't reset you if I don't have anything assigned to you. There we go. Okay, so we'll release him again. Reset the level. Okay, his cage does get a little screwy, but if we were to release him again, he should still be able to move around. So that's fine. That's all I wanted to check on that one. So I think instead of the slime having to come to us, we actually have to get it to the other side of the room. We have to fight against it coming towards us, right? That's kind of the, the goal here. So we need to flip levers and stuff to prevent it from coming back towards us, right? And it will help us a little bit more, because now we can just set all the conveyor belts to be a uh, nice, like, two. Get rid of that. Now, if we grab our conveyor belt, we can go ahead and place them like this. Get over to here. And I can actually erase this here. And we can put it back to how it was. There we go. Okay. So, we can kind of do the same thing. So let's first, I guess, just take a moment and kind of get these going where we want them to go. We'll grab these conveyor belts. Although, I might not be able to have it go down this way here. Because um, if it goes further down, it's going to try to keep coming up. And if I try to push it back, it's going to also keep trying to come up, which might interfere with some stuff. But, you know what, I think we'll be fine there. So we'll just have this one be the turning point to go back to right. And then we're going to go one, two. And then we're going to go back up. We're going to go 90 degrees. We go back up here. Like this. 
And honestly, what we could do in order to get the slime to do what we want better, we could use ice there instead. Zero. So let me take these conveyor belts right here, and I'm just gonna set them to inactive just in case we, you know, wanna use them again here in the future. We're gonna get ice. We're gonna say is end, but can move up. And we're gonna copy this ice. It's not gonna be the end. Well, I guess it is the end, but you can move up and down now. Because once the slime hits this, it should just slide across it, I'm hoping, is what will happen. We'll have to see. So let's just hit play, and we can just test it. See what happens, right? So the slime's gonna go. Gonna take him a second, but there he goes. Ah, shoot, I forgot I had that extra one there. Hold on. I think it's just that one, yeah? Okay, get rid of that one. Let's try that again. So it's gonna go down, but it's gonna wanna keep trying to come up here. And then it's going to hit that, which is going to make it slide very slowly across the ice. Just very, very slowly. But it should catch that conveyor belt, and then it's going to get sent over there, and then slide back down. And then it's going to get sent back up again, hit that conveyor belt and get sent back down, because we are down here. So I guess if we position ourselves here, and then when it gets slid up, we come up here, there we go. Okay, so it's not just the uh, ice we have to worry about, it's also our positioning. Okay, so we could, that could work. Um, yeah, that could work. I think we might add that there, just so the slime doesn't hit that earlier than we want. Let's test this configuration out. Okay, so if we just stay here, the slime will eventually get pushed down. And then it's going to, I think it hit the ice right there. Oh, no, okay. We come up here and, ooh, that one's rough. It's now stuck going back down. Okay, so let's just restart. So I think if we hit this, we'll let it start its path downward. And once it gets under that lip, we can go up to here so that it comes up this way. Starts getting sent down through there. But then it's going to come back this way if we don't have more conveyor belts going that way. So that's fine. That is fine. That's fine. Um, right. Okay. Right, so what I might just do, just to prevent it from doing something weird here, rather than just having it end like that, we'll just do this. Oops, not that. Ugh. Like this. Boop. That way it just slides across and we don't have to worry about it, you know, blocking off the conveyor belt and stuff like that. Which, I mean, then we could just, you know, fill in this area too. But what would be the point? All right, I could just add a pitfall right here. Just to, for no reason other than just like aesthetic kind of stuff here. So we can just do the spawn point and the enemy spawn just to have them there. That way I don't have to just refit this damn wall. Also, I just realized we we're missing a wall piece from here. Okay, so we're doing that. And then with this last conveyor belt, we can go ahead and get rid of these um, conveyor belts there. With this last conveyor belt, we can paste a new one, have it go over paste a new one, and we're going to go back down with it. So we want to go 
90, negative 90, I should say. Go down. And then we're going to use the ice again. So let's go ahead and just grab this ice. We're going to go ahead and paste it. And I think it's just the same configuration, right? Because it's, um, you know, same thing. Okay. And then we can go ahead and once again, just kind of cap this area off like this. There we go. All right. And so at this point, what we can do is we can get a pressure plate here. And uh, I think we have one. It should go above there. And so this is going to be for this conveyor belt. Which now we can actually use the whole space here by maximizing it. So it's going to start... Um, down, right? And it's going to go at a rate of 2. So we want to have it go negative 90. There we go. And then we're going to grab our conveyor belt from here. We're going to go 180. It's going to go to the left. You bastard ass gnat. Let's try to kill a gnat. That was the clapping. Anyway, we're going to have it go this way. And this last one will go back up. Like so. Okay. Easy enough. Um, I will add a little bit here. Just to kind of make it easier to do its thing. Okay, so this should take care of a, a loop back, but what we need to do is this pressure plate needs to have this conveyor belt, which is number 18. Okay, and then we want to flip down, down. Um, we don't want to check any of these boxes. But we want to grab our lever, and this one is going to do not an empty game object, but conveyor belt 18. And we want it to go to the right, but the original direction is going to be down. So that way, we have the uh, uh, conveyor belt able to be flipped, but if it hits that thing, you have to hit it basically right in these two slots. Honestly, what I could have done is put another pressure plate here, have this go back to there. I'm actually do that instead. Where is my pitfall? There it is. Um, and then here, I'm gonna copy this pressure plate. We're gonna put it up here instead. And then this was conveyor belt number fifteen. So, oop, and then this one we want it to go left, left. So, compare to all 15, we want you to go 180. Go. And then, of course, we're going to need to uh, copy the conveyor belt. Also, I forgot to change this one going left. There we go. And then we're going to want to copy, I'm just going to copy this conveyor belt up here. And then we can go ahead and do boop. And boop, boop, there we go. And then it all just goes back down to complete a loop. I could use ice there as well, but why do that when I can choose conveyors? And it's going to be less weird because potentially there could be a slowdown point here for ice. So we don't want to do that quite right now. All right. Anyway, we've done that, so we need to set up the second lever, which is weird that it's going to be the second lever now. But anyway, the second lever is going to be the object to change, conveyor belt 15, right? Yes. And we want it to go, instead of left, we want it to go right, but the original direction is going to be left. 
Okay, so let's just test this out a little bit here. We're not going to hide the pressure plates this time. I want them to be visible. So if we look here, we can switch these to be the direction we want them to be. The question is going to be, though, once I do this, Ooh, right. Because we have to flip the lever. Okay. What I might do is this lever I'll put up here. This lever I'll put down here. That means I can move this pressure plate that we have to spawn the slime up a little bit. So it's nice and centered. Okay. So basically we'll, we'll switch sides every time to help the slime progress a little bit. Also, it says optimi object to manipulate has not been set to when it hit that pressure plate. Um, no, then this one. Why? Where, where did that come from? Hold on. Eight. Eight? Eight. What happened in the exit pull up? I remember those is the same line. It showed up here in trigger once um, for some reason. If trigger once was set, it went down to here. But why did that happen when we hit that conveyor belt here? Or was that me getting off? the conveyor for this pressure plate. Hold on, let's test that out real quick. Hmm. Point a little scallion, let's go. Okay, see that? Gave me this error. But it shouldn't have. Pressure plate two. Trigger once is not checked. How did it get to that? Maybe I need no exit trigger checked on these. Honestly, I'm just confused as to why. Oh, could trigger once is equal to false. Right. Okay, that would do it. Yeah, so one thing you have to be careful about is with the levers, if they're toggled on <coughs> before the pressure plate hits, they're not gonna untoggle. They're gonna have to hit it twice in order to get it to switch back. Okay, so now let's just test it out to make sure that the uh, slime doesn't do that error again go down, then you're going to go up. We're going to want to go down here. I'm just going to push it over there. Perfect. No errors. Okay. Yeah, that was it. We had to have the uh, no trigger or no exit trigger. Cool. All right. So we're just going to continue this on until we can get to the end path. And that's really going to be the long and short of it. So uh, I'm going to make a empty call conveyors. I'm just going to dump all these guys into it. Um, because it's getting a little bulky now. I'm also going to create one called ice in just a moment. And then create empty called ice. We're gonna put all the lovely ice in there. And I'm actually just gonna copy 
for the five ice we have. Leave a space and do another. No, leave another space and do another. Then we might move the location of the pressure plate, but we'll see what happens. So we'll just do that for right now. We don't have to worry about the ice anymore. Um, I will go ahead, however, and... Mm. I think it's fine to leave that open. Just like this. We won't be able to go all the way to the beginning, but it will go back to like the previous track, essentially, if we forget. Right? Okay. So now... Let's go ahead and grab our conveyor belts. We have just gone down to here. So we need to go to the right. Then we're gonna go back up, come back down. Because we're gonna need to go to the right again here. Hold it. That changes that one. That one changes that one. The pressure plate here is going to change that one. The pressure plate here is going to change that one. Right. Okay. I think we can take this pressure plate. We can actually just put it here. That'll be the end for us. So let's get... We'll just make our end here like this. Oops, not those two. There we go. All right. Now we just gotta fill in the conveyor belts there. Before I do the conveyor belts completely, um, I do want to add the conveyor belts that are gonna be switching, just so I don't have to go like, oh, which one's which? God darn it. Keep track. So I'm going to copy these two pressure plates, just because I'm going to drag them over like that. And then the first one, which I guess would be the second one, actually, huh? Okay. So this one is going to manipulate a variable 22. So go ahead and drag that one over here. And this one's going to do 21, right? Yes. Okay, and that's all we have to do there. We just have to make sure they're facing the correct area. So this one is going to send it to the left, I guess left, left, yeah. And then the other one is going to send it uh, instead of down, down, also left, left. That'll be easy enough to deal with. Although I could have to go, yeah, maybe we'll do that. That way I can just go down and go over here. That'll be interesting. Right. We'll do that. Okay. So we want to switch these conveyor belts to be going down to begin with. And this one up here, we want it to go left to begin with. Okay. And so we'll take this lever and it is going to be conveyor belt 21, which is going to be the one that's down below. And it's going to want to go to the right. The original direction is down. Okay. And then the next lever, we're going to want to put it up here. It's going to be conveyor belt 22. And it's going to want to go to the right, but the original direction is going to be to the left. Let's just make sure 21 is down there, 21. 20, 21 is down, 21 is up, right? 21 is down. Yep. Okay. Well, so that's all the levers that we're going to be using here. Nice. So I, I might actually move the levers over one that there is kind of like kept in this little area here right and then we can complete this room quite easily 
So we're going to just grab, I don't know why I did that. Conveyor belts. Okay. Easiest thing to do is just going to copy the conveyor belts we need to where we need them. So we're just going to go, this one goes up. Um, so we need a down conveyor belt or up here. And then we're going to need a left conveyor belt for over here and for down here and here and here and here. And then we're going to need a right conveyor belt. So I can just click that one, thank God. For there. And then that is about the long and short of it. I will adjust this down here. And then I think we could also get away with doing this. To uh, just make things nice and tight. So we don't have any potential issues later down the line here. Um, I think the issue we're going to have is that, and then that. There we go. Okay, so that should shore up everything nice and good there. I could also go ahead and just do like this, I guess. Oops. There. Just kind of make this a thicker area here. Like so. And then, boop, there we go. All right, so that's going to be sort of the level um, that we're going to have. And I think to go even further, we do something like this. We have another gate here. And we can do something in the first area just to kind of add a little bit extra. Okay. Go ahead and do that so I can go ahead and close this conveyor belt tab, which frees up so much space. And, uh,. Add this in here. Uh, assets. There we go. Okay. So we'll put the spawn point up there. <clears throat> And then, to open this gate, let's go ahead and I suppose we can put a pressure plate here, and that will open up this uh, thingy thing. We'll open up that gate. Mm, yes. And... We can just put a block, like, here. I guess. We can put a block here. I know what we can do. We can get a pitfall here. that, and then we can move this pressure plate over here so the player has to move that block onto there, and then when they're done in this room, they have to push that over there to unseal that, just to add a little extra to the whole thing. Okay, so now let's go ahead and assign everything and play test it, and then just make sure we're all good. So I'm just going to actually just delete everything here, so that way I can very quickly assign stuff by just doing... Pressure plate. And then lever. Then we have a pitfall. We have no portals, but we do have gates. 
No depositor, no block void, no extra slimes. Nice. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and talk to the player a little bit here. So. By now, you figure out that touching the red line is not good. I've separated you two for now, but you will still need its help. To solve this. Okay. Lead it down the right path, and you'll both escape. Aha! Right, okay. So that should be all we have to do here now. Okay, so let's just play test to make sure that it works, and then we can go. And do the next one. Okay, so we've got to be careful not to get this one stuck. We can unlock this. We're going to free the slime. And then we got to start up top, okay? <laughs> Ready. And flip. Come on, little slime. Oh, no. Is that the speed at which it's moving? Sheesh. The ice is uh, quite troublesome. I'm just going to reset the level. The block, I forgot. Why didn't y'all remind me? We forgot to set the respawn for the block. Uh, we'll create an empty object. Block spawn. One thing I forgot. Okay. Now we're good. So we'll start down here. Get a little word about that way. We'll go up here. But he comes up this way. Like that. No, you fool! You foolish fool! Well, at least he's moving a little bit faster this time. We gotta be careful, like, as soon as he is in, like, once he's past the ice, we have to go to the next side or else we're screwed. Like, that's just how it is. He's gonna touch the conveyor belt. He's gonna shoot back up here. Oh no, he triggered the damn thing. Shit. Okay. Now we gotta go all the way up here so we maximize this as velocity. Flip the lever. Shit, I did it again. I went too early. Okay, you know what? Let's restart. The slime. The slime's an idiot. And by the slime, I mean me. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we're going to go up. We're going to trigger this now. We're going to go down now. We're gonna trigger this. We're gonna go up now to the second lever. Trigger that. And we're gonna go down now. Oh, come on, don't tell me he got fucked on the, the ice there. Mmm. Maybe I changed that first ice into a conveyor belt. Well, shit. Come on, slime, you can do it. I wish there was like a fast forward button. I kind of 
forgot the further away he gets, the more he's going to want to uh, less likely go further south. We want to come to the left first to, uh, to get to me. Come on, you can do it, slime. You can do it. Okay, fine. We're going to stand here. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this ice. And we need to select this ice now and have this one be... Uh, you can't move up. We do need to copy a down conveyor. Right there. I'll put another one there, just so we have a little extra room to uh, navigate downwards with before he starts slipping. Okay, there we go. The mouse wasn't disappearing. That's why I was messing around with the uh, thing there. Anyway, boop. Right, come on, slime. Come on. Come on, little guy. Who's gonna trigger this? I'm gonna flip the lever. He's gonna get stuck there. I'm gonna go all the way down before he can get around this corner. I'm gonna flip this lever. Pair. Go up now. And we are going to flip this lever. We're gonna go down now. And he should slide, and we're gonna flip this lever. He's gonna put him on that conveyor belt. Excellent. And we just got to seal up this hole. It only takes about a minute if you know exactly what you're doing. And you, uh, you know, whatever. But the, the first player, the player's not going to, for the first time, know what's happening. So we will know what's going on. Also, I think I want to add a little extra text to the uh, discussion here. Um, let's add a fourth one. And do keep in mind that ice keeps your speed as you slide across it. We'll just say that, so it's, it's essentially we're blaming the player if they make the slime go slow. It's not our fault. It's the player's. <laughs> okay. So with that one completed, we can just drag down our 5.8. Open up five sevens and level, drag in five eight, save it. We are done with that. Now let's go ahead and open up five nine. Set the default parent to there. Bring over our notepad. We can go ahead and cross this one off. Boom. Okay, so this one, a little bit, it, it, it's going to be weird, I think. So we're going to have a different rooms that we're going to go into while the slime is following us. And we're going to be able to seal the room in order to do stuff inside of it. And we will be able to go back out as well. Okay, so let's just make some rooms to begin with. Okay. Uh, we'll start with just something here. Like so. I'm just going to make squares and then we're going to, you know, afterwards kind of lay out what things are going to be where, right? How's it going, Mindbox? Welcome to the stream. I think we'll do that there. And then we can put another one here. And after that, we'll put one more room, like right here, I do believe. And then we can put the exit down here like so. We'll just grab a gate from our prefabs to put here. Okay. Go ahead and change the color of this gate real quick. All right. So that's the wrong file. There we go. Okay. So I think for this one, uh, we'll first need to determine where we want the doors to be. But we also need to make our, I guess our spawn room can be this small room here. Let's do that, get rid of that one. And then we can, thanks for the follow, Mindbox. We can go ahead and put our uh, pressure plate here. That's going to release the slime. And we can put the slime up 
here, perhaps. Right? So we'll take the pressure plate, we're going to assign the slime to it. We're going to have it just trigger once. It's going to be one object, I believe. And then that'll be our little thing there. So let's two, take our spawn point. We're going to put it here. Our end level point, we're going to move down to here. Easy peasy. Okay. So once we leave this room, we need to head to another room in order to do something inside of it. So I think we'll just create a door here. We will create a door here. And then we'll also create a door right here, I believe. Okay. So, hmm. easy enough for these, what we will do is, of course, we're going to need a, a gate for all of these, but we don't want it to be in like that. We're going to need to get rid of our little thing here and just kind of move the gate up this way. So that way it's uh, maybe a little bit more pixel perfect there. That way the slime is not going to get stuck in the gate area and will actually give us a little bit of leeway to move. So we're going to copy this gate a couple of times. Make it nice and as perfect as we can get it. So that it just looks nice. And the last one here. Make sure we get nice and lined up with the thing here. And there we go. All right. Those are going to be our gates. Um, first of all, we're going to grab them all and we can change the asset color to be this one. Oh, so it matches. And they're all going to be inactive at start and we're going to just hide them. Is that. After that, we're going to put a lever in each room right next to the doorway. And they are going to change the, the gates. So this one is going to change gate two, for example. And it's going to start off always visible. Always start visible is going to be no. And I think that will that. We're going to copy our levers and basically just put them in the same kind of positions. So this gate is going to be the last one. This one is going to be the first gate there. Perfect. All right, so now if we go into a room, we can very quickly just hit the lever to close the gate behind us and get the slime to stay out of our room like so. Then we can do whatever we want to do in the room. We can lure the slime to a different position like this. We can go down real quick, get out of the room, go to the next room, seal it off, do our do our little work, do our, our thing in here, whatever we have to do. Hmm, right, it's not very smooth there, is it? It's unfortunate. But we can unseal it, let him in. Ah, light. Well, that's unfortunate. We can kind of juke him around in the room, potentially, and then get out and just kind of trap him into places. We can seal off this one, do our work. Yeah. It's unfortunate he gets caught like that. select this yeah I can kind of see where the issue arises at I could move it out to let's get rid of the snapping I could move it out to here but it, the gate I guess you could say that the gate looks like it's fine there it's just not pixely perfect is the problem okay so let's just move these a little bit here and I think perhaps that might solve our issue, because now they look pretty lined up. I mean, there is still the possibility for the slime to get clipped on it, but also this one's a little bit bad. You go as perfect as you can, you know? 
There we go. Okay. We can try this to see if that helps at all. It's one problem when you're dealing with tiles like this, you know? Okay. Let's go ahead and seal off the door. And yeah, it's still gonna get stuck. Crap. Hmm. <clears throat> Only there was a way to like get the slime to to move away from the door a little bit more, you know. You just juke it like that, though. <laughs> if we're down here and we go up, too much. We can go down here, though. I suppose one thing you could do to sort of mitigate the possibility of the slime getting stuck is you can go down like this and then go up here, flip that, so that way you have more room down here. And you can get him to come as close to you down here as possible. Go back up, hit that, and get out just before he hits you, right? You kind of got to position the slime in an area where he will not get stuck next to the door that you can get back out and whatnot. You could also just lure them in this way, I suppose. One of the doors you do kind of like that, but meh. All right, so that's kind of the, 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 the theme for this room is we go into a room, do something, and then go back out, right? Uh, that's kind of the, the idea. So, what we need to do is essentially get this door to open, right? So we're probably going to want to use a lever of some sort somewhere, um, do things like that. And I suppose what we could do is start in this room, end in this room, or end this room, whichever. Um, I think the, the most obvious thing to do would be to stay away from the slime by going into this room or this room. So starting with this room kind of throws the player off, I would think, because they'd have to get past the slime first to go into here. So what we can do is, I suppose we could just make a, a sort of thing where we have, say, a pressure plate up here you snapping again. We have a pressure plate up here that's going to spawn movable blocks. And I'm going to finally use this trigger once um, to make a block the way we need to do it. So it's going to trigger, it's going to create one block only once. That's all it's going to do. You won't be able to make multiple. And we're going to spawn that one down here right? But we're also going to get another pressure plate that actually, I'm just going to delete that one and if I copy that it's not going to work, never mind. Um, yeah, we'll just make a new one. We'll get another pressure plate and it is also going to spawn a block but we're going to spawn it there. So right next to each other. We're going to spawn a block, one object, do once just like that. And so we'll have two blocks in this room ready to go when we trigger those. But that's not the only thing I want to do in these rooms. I want to also do some other stuff. So I think in order to get to these, to the pressure plates, what we might have to do is something. Hmm. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So... We can get some pitfalls here. I'm going to get the spawn point. And I need to create an enemy spawn before I forget. There we go. Yeah, the other red slime, please. Enemy spawn, I'm just gonna put right there. Okay, and then for the pitfall, enemy spawn goes right in there. All right, so the pitfall, we're gonna just go ahead and make another circle around it like that. 
And then we will put a conversion block here and an inverse block here. So we have to convert it and then you can maneuver it around however you want. It's just going to be a simple sliding puzzle in that room. Okay. So that's one thing that's going to happen here. However, we need something else to happen as well, right? Um, because this room should affect both rooms, right? That room's going to affect this room by itself. I think what we can do here is I can grab a couple immobile blocks like this and a depositor. And the depositor will have it just take two, whatever. That's fine. We'll affect that spawn point and we will put a lever here. And this lever, finally, um, what we're going to do is have it affect our mm, last gate, excuse me, like that. Very simple. I think the always start visible. Hold on. Let me check the lever script. Control F, always start object visible. Yeah, that's left for resetting. It's not for the lever itself to be visible. Okay, just making sure. No, I wasn't sure. But so this one, uh, the last lever, we do want to make sure that's checked. That's going to see that checked. Okay. Excellent. So, essentially those two blocks that spawn here and here, you'll have to move into this position. Easy as that. But we also want to make it a little bit harder to get to this pressure plate. So what are we going to do? Hmm. Let's see. What can we do, I guess, is the question. I could surround it by... Um, things. Well, I got some idea. Let's just use some more pitfalls here. A couple more pitfalls like this. Okay, and so what we'll do here is let's get a another pressure plate down here. And this one is also going to spawn a single block only going to do it once, and it's going to spawn a block up in this room here, okay? And that pressure plate, I think I can just leave, uh, well actually, maybe I should surround that one too. Okay. So we have one block already here, which is going to go into one of these things, right? But we need another pressure plate as well, right? In order to get this one here. So we're going to add a pressure plate up here. And that one is going to spawn a block down here. And grab this. Boop, boop, boop. Do once. All right, so the, the flow of this is you come in here, hit this pressure plate, it spawns a block. You come in here, hit these two pressure plates so that you can spawn a block in here to get this pressure plate, which spawns a block in there. Then you can push both of those into there. It's currently how it goes. Because um, right now there's no indication of which one of these you hit first. So we have to hit both of them at some point, right? We can't just have, we don't want to have it to be like, it's like, oh, I hit the wrong pressure plate, I just have to restart. We wanted to have some sort of flow to be like, oh, okay, I need to hit this pressure plate. Got it. And so, um, is there anything else I want to do in this room? Hmm. <laughs> what I could do is I could put block voids sort of in these areas to prevent them from getting the blocks in or out. So I might actually do that so that they know they don't have to take blocks in or out of these areas. Nah, 
Well, I was thinking, do I want to put them outside or inside? But I think I want to put them outside. Because if I put them inside, there's the possibility that I have to move a block. No. No, they don't. Never mind. I'm going to drag them inside. There we go. That way everything kind of is clean and open in the in outside, right? Okay, so with that, they can't get any blocks outside. And you can keep them all contained inside, however. Okay, so you hit that block, it spawns a block there, you push it there, trigger that, you move this block over here, so you can trigger that one as well then. Then, it spawns a block over here, which you push in there, you see two blocks spawn down here, you push them into there, trigger that, open the gate to leave. Okay, but... I think we should do something else as well that you need to do in order to get past this one. So... What could I do? Hmm. 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 Let's see here. I mean, do I need to do anything else? Let's just play test and see how long it takes. We go through here, slime is released, we close the gate to seal them off, hit this pressure plate, lower the slime up here, we leave, come back through, hit this, move this down, move that over, trigger that to spawn that block, pull this block over to here, pull it up to here, oh I messed that up, there we go. Trigger that to spawn. Oh, apparently this pressure plate doesn't work. Great. Well, anyway, we can just assume that it does work and go from there. Do that. Run out here. Run back into the first room. Trigger that, I guess. Lure the slime up to here. Go up here, trigger that. Trigger this lever, run out, run back down here. We're gonna have to... Uh-oh. I fucked up! I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up! <laughs> Let's get him back outside. Let's go, come on. In your little hole. Okay, so we got him down there. We then take our first block, push it into there. Take our second block, push it into there. Flip the lever, flip this lever to get out. Run down through here, juke the slime, and leave. So it takes us about two minutes, um, probably a little less if we uh, weren't an idiot and forgot to assign that pressure plate a, a block to spawn. <laughs> My bad. But yeah, so that should see to it that the level's finished. Okay, so it takes about two minutes to do, not too bad. And that's assuming you know exactly what to do, where to push the blocks, all that good jazz. The player might take a couple seconds to look at it and view at it, so that, that's fine. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can fit into here, so we'll... We'll call that one good. Let's go ahead and assign everything to it. All right, so, first of all, enemy, the enemy spawn. We also need to assign a inverse block. And we need to create a block spawn for that. Boop, boop, and boop. Okay. Next, we have some pressure plates we need to reset, of course. Then we have a couple of levers. Also need reset. Of course, we have a bunch of pitfalls, which need to be reset here. Um, we don't have any attack towers or cages, but we do have gates. These need to be reset. We do have a single depositor. 
needs to be reset. And no block voids that have to be reset for removal blocks. So nice, that's everything we have to sign there. Stretching the stuff. Okay. So let's go ahead and select the level once again. Uh, for talking. For uh, for this next room, the slime could be a hassle in enclosed spaces. I've given you a way to seal yourself. It's not S E E L, right? It's S E A L. I don't know why it looked weird, but to seal yourself in the room, your working in. Just make sure this, the red slime, I should also say red slime up here. Isn't waiting for you outside when you want to leave. Go. That's the dialogue for that room. And boop. All right. We can go ahead and delete that one. Open up level 5-8. Open up the end level. Drag that into there. Hit save. And we have one more level to make. Right. So, level 5, 10. Level 50. Last level. So, our idea for this one is a convoluted way to get a destroyer block from behind doors and stuff, but you can kill the red slime and leave. Okay. So I think that what we want to do is, well, we're gonna have to add a little bit of code here, okay. I think. So first of all, let's make a exit. Not with that tile map, though. Well, I like how I made these extra tile maps for like foreground and above ground and all that stuff, but I never used them. I've always just been using the collider tile map, which is funny to me. Um, okay, so we're gonna grab our prefab. We're gonna put a gate here like that in our assets. We'll go ahead and drag this over to here, just like so. All right. Uh, then we also know we're going to need a destroyer block. We need the red slime. And we need a red slime spawn. So, enemy spawn. Okay. These are the blocks that we're going to need to finish this level. Right now, there's no logic that says if the red slime is killed, do something, right? But I think if we put that in the destroyer block, within the destroyer block, we have a way for the uh, red slime to get set to inactive. If it does, we can then do something. So inside the destroyer block, let's make a serialized field, game object, um, Gate to open is what we're going to call it. Okay, then we come down to the enemy. And when the enemy gets destroyed, uh, we can then do collision. Wait, we don't even have to do that. I don't know why I was like that. We can just do gate to open dot set active equals false. Right like that. Um, that's all we have to do to make this work. Although, I suppose just in case, we should set this to be if gate to open does not equal null, we then do it. Just to make sure we have something in there um, and we're not just destroying the gate or uh, setting the gate to be inactive for no real reason, right? Okay. So with this data, we don't have to 
um, interact with anything special, right? We don't have to reset it by doing anything weird because the gate gets reset by default when we're doing this anyway. So we can just set this aside. And now that we have that logic, if we were to take the destroyer block, ripped and gate here, um, actually, I just remembered we do need a pressure plate to release the enemy. Once. Okay. So now if I move the end level down to here, move the spawn point up to here, we can just hit play. I can kill the slime and just check that this works real quick. Hey, slime. Eat this. And we get to leave. Okay. I'm also going to do the dialogue right now because I, I have a good thing for it. So, this experiment solution is simple. Kill the red slime. A destroyer block will be able to Kill it. Now. Now, how do you get the destroyer block? Might be a bit difficult. But once the, the red slime is dead, the final gate will open. There we go. That's all we have to do. Easy peasy. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just real quick assign the slime to the enemy spawn here, just to get those out of the way. Um, okay. So how do we want this room? Ow, my hand, can be laid out. Um, we could make it just a huge open field, but have the destroyer block behind a like gate or something. So if we like put it down here, for example, and then if we take a wall like this like not like that yeah that's fine um go like this why do i want to do this i can make it bigger like that and we can put a double gate here and then just a bunch of double gates going down to here. That could be fun. Okay. So, let's first of all take this gate. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate it. What I could do, potentially, is if I combine, and rather than having like a double gate here, I can just make this one a child of that one. So it is technically one gate. That. Which I think I'll do, just for the sake of easiness and making an easier read and whatnot. How to do that. I think I might move that up one, though. Just like that. And then we just need to get a horizontal gate here. Oops. And then we need to select both of these and change the asset color on them. There we go. All right. So this is the basic default level area. Uh, we'll eventually run in here, get the destroyer block, come out with it, and do something. Right. So let's make a a um, little area for the player to spawn so that they have to trigger 
the pressure plate, we can just do this. Uh, move the pressure plate here. Player spawn will be right here. So if we hit play, the player will, of course, spawn right there. Hello, it is me, the player. And you can't get past triggering that. So we'll move the red slime up to here. Enemy spawn will, of course, move up to here as well, right like that. And so now in this open space, we're going to basically make a sort of combat arena type thing. Uh, and we need to basically move stuff around, avoid the slime, hit levers, and do stuff like that. So right now, what we need is four levers. And each of these levers is going to open up one of the gates. Easy, easy, right? So the object's going to start visible. And we're just going to go ahead and drag this into here. Like that. And then the next lever... Well, actually, I'm just going to... All these only start visible. There we go. And then it's going to be gate number two. And we're going to do lever two. Gate number three. And lever three, the horizontal gate, because that's the last gate here, right? Because it would be simple if you could just go in here once with the slime, when you have this first gate open, then, like, trap him in here while you're doing work in here, and then just go in later. Way too easy, right? So we're not going to do that. In fact, I might actually unlock this and move this further this way. I there was less chance of him getting clipped into the, the wall there. That. All right. So we have our four levers. I'm going to move this lever down to here, and we're going to make it the hardest one to get to. The other levers, we'll kind of just put in the corners. From the corners, anyway. Like this, I do believe. Um, I think I'll move this one. I'll leave it there. Okay, that's where our levers are going to be laid out as. But now, how are we going to get to them? Well, I think if we put a pressure plate here, we can have it spawn a block here. It's going to spawn a block to do. Just one uh, little trigger there. We want it to be able to trigger multiple times. Um, like that. Hmm. And now, we can make it so that there's just like a bunch of crazy stuff going on around it. So like pitfalls and um, stuff like that. So we can grab our pitfall, drag in our spawn point and then the enemy spawn point, and we can go ahead and just sort of circle this stuff around here. Like I said, we're going to make one of them easy. Other ones will be a little bit harder and stuff, right? Do I have two there? I do have two there. I can move this one over here. Like that. Here we go. And then this one might make a little bit harder by uh, adding a wall and then a depositor here. Gonna save some space, uh, and then we're gonna make this one. I think ten's too much. Let's go with seven. I don't think the slime, the the enemy, could ever get into there. But I don't think I need to have a separate spawn point for it. But let me just check and test it out. So could I? somehow get the enemy slime to get stuck in there. Come on. Nope. Like, if you did it, you would... I'll just let you take the game, right? At that point. Also, there's a bunch of errors here. Um... What? Where's all this coming from? 
top. The variable target destination has not been set. What does that mean? Because when we get target, the target game object is going to be the player, which should exist. I'm not sure why it wouldn't. It's weird. Oh, it happened because I got teleported back. Right? So if I like move here, then I get to that. Alright, I haven't reset the pressure plate. And it only triggers once, so it's not gonna let me free him again. That's weird. It almost happened just because of like certain frames happen at certain times. So that's that's whatever. Not too worried about that. Okay. We basically have this huge battle arena, right? And to make things harder, we could put random like block voids and player voids around. To really mess with the player, right? Block voids. Like that, we get one block there. Really, the easiest thing to do would spawn the block, move it down, hit that lever, come back up, spawn a block, push it over here. Uh, actually, once you push it into a player void, you can't get it out because it'll basically be screwed. But you could uh, go down, push it over, push it up, push it over, push it up, hit that. Yeah. All right, let's just try this out. See how long it would take us to get the uh, stuff done. So, spawn one. Like I said, just move it down. Spawn another block. Kite the slime around a little bit. The hardest part of this is, of course, kiting the slime around because you have to make sure you have enough room to do so. Look, look, look. We also use him to. Shit, I just avoided myself. Did it again! I mean, I guess you could use those as like respawn points to like avoid the slime hitting you and resetting the level. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. Actually insane. Okay, we're trying to do this. Come down here. Hit that real quick. Let's go. <laughs> Let me just reset ourselves over here. Make the slime reset himself. And then, oh shit, he, he block avoided me. Okay. So it is, is possible. Um, like I said, the hardest part would be going down here to hit a little switch lever did it not flip. That one? Did I forget to flip that lever? Yeah, okay. Anyway, after a couple of, of those, you would eventually get that one unlocked, be able to go down there, and get the block. So I'm assuming two and a half minutes or something. So we, we got this. This this will be fine right here. Let's go ahead and assign all of our values for this. So we have our pitfalls, of course. We have our pressure plates, of which there are two. We have all of our lovely levers. 
We then have our gates, which I'm just going to select them all. Because why not? And then we have our depositor. And at this point, um, we do have a destroyer block. We do need a spawn point for it. Right, like there. And so, can I destroy anything else? I mean, I could destroy levers potentially, but we also have the levers assigned there. Um, attack towers, none. Portals, none. Cages, none. Immovable blocks, none. Block voids can't be destroyed with just one destroyer. Okay, cool. So I think we're good for everything here. Ugh. So, what we can do now is actually play test properly, now that everything's been assigned and whatnot, and uh, just kind of see exactly how long it takes us. So, free the slime. I'm gonna go in a pitfall to Avoid getting hit by the slime here. Also, I just got a null reference. What is the null reference? Hmm. Okay. Maybe I... So what's happening right now is the... Uh, I think this might be what's getting... Yeah, give me an issue. If I scroll up to the top, what's the very first one? It's all that target position. I guess because... Oh, right, because the target hasn't been acquired yet because... Right, if we, if we look at this, we can understand why. So we start awake. Um, we go through here. He's moving is false. We acquire our target. And we wait a second before doing anything. Um, however, if a second goes by before this happens... It's going to give us issues. So what we should do is create a private bool target acquired equals false. And then in here, waiting for target, um, what we can do is down here, we can do target acquired equals true. And then we can set this equals to if is moving equals true, and target acquired, target acquired equals true, means we can just copy this down to here. Okay, easy peasy. So that should make it so that if we uh, do not yet have our target, we will not try to move using the target information. So that's simple as that. And we don't really have to set it equal to false if we reset, because um, this only happens when it first wakes up. So resetting wouldn't change that. But regardless, we we have our, uh, our thing here, so let's go to resume. Uh-oh, he's freaked out because I changed that and he didn't have a target acquired Boolean set. So let's try this again. Okay, I had to reset it anyway. Whatever. Now we didn't get any of those huge errors, but then again, it doesn't always happen, so... Let's we'll see what we can do here. Let's lure him down to this corner and then juke him. Oh, I'll get juked, son. Oh, spot another block there. You just kind of... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was playing tug-of-war with him. He did not like it. Go up here. I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit that. You know, sometimes you can just let the, uh, the slime do your work for you, you know? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I get screwed, sir. Yeah, I just voided myself there. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we aren't making any progress. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And in we go. Go back and make a mad dash over to here. Move these up, spawn another block. No, don't push me in the wall, you bastard. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? Wow. Can't believe we've done this. Wait, did he just clip through that one block? Oh god. Oh god. 
It's insane. Okay, so yeah, don't don't play tug of war with the, the red slime. Very bad idea. Oops, almost uh, sacrificed myself there. Ah, bloody hell. Okay, I think I see another easy way to get a, a block out of here. Oh crap. Go, go, go! God damn it. Okay. Listen. Come on. Come on. There we go. Gotta use the pitfalls to your advantage here and sometimes just make the, the slime fall in one, you know? Sometimes you falling in one works out, but sometimes the slime falling in one also works out. So, uh, yeah. Didn't need to go in that hole there. I, again, did not mean to fall in that hole. That was completely not what I meant to do. Fantastic. Okay, we need to get the slime over here to this side so that I can do some stuff. Ah, uh, he's gaining on me. Okay, so we'll just push this one over to here. I'm gonna come up here. I'm just gonna push this one down. I'm just gonna go juke him over here. Flip this over to here. <laughs> Have him help me push a block over to here. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. We'll just walk away for a second. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, you almost had me. Gotta be quicker than that. Okay. So now is the tricky part, because anytime we push a block in, it's going to give us problems, because the slime is going to be on that side of the... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. It's gonna be on that side of the uh, world, so. Aha! Fuck. <laughs> oh, I love this level. Okay. So, like, the pitfalls and stuff are, like, helpful. Fuck, I, I'm not meaning to go into that one. I wanna, like, just get just underneath it. But I can push these blocks down. There we go. Oh my god. One freaking block. If I lure him into that hole, I can just get right past him. Nice. Oh yeah, baby, move a block for me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay, go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. And juke, meow. Push him a little bit further and run away. Let's get him to fall in this hole. Oh boy, okay, we're making some progress here. Oh, he fell in another hole, nice. I'll reset myself, trigger this, run away over here. I'm gonna have him fall in this pitfall here so I can do that. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. Luckily, when we're pushing one block, we're about the same speed as the slime. We're able to push stuff and still kind of make it away from him. We only need two more blocks, so we could definitely do some stuff here. Whoop. The problem is this now. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I almost got fucked right there. Well, he's pushing that block away from me. Okay. I almost screwed it there so, so badly. I think we can get him to fall in the pit. I can just maybe get over here and then lure him up here, and then we can go back down through here. Ooh. It's the final showdown. Let me go in here. 
Oh, shit! I fucking had it! <sighs> okay, so it takes about five minutes to beat the level. Um, if I would not have been an idiot and been like, oh, I can just fall in the pitfall after pushing this block in there, um, we definitely could have won right there. But uh, me and my hubris was like, I'll just fall in the hole with the slime there. And that, that's how that worked out for me. Damn. Okay, cool. So we have our 50th level, the last level. I tried to make it a little bit like a boss fight, you know, where you have to do mechanics while avoiding the boss's attacks. And then you get something to kill the boss with, right? That was kind of my, my plan, my idea for this one. And I thought it went rather well. Okay, so we will take our level 50, slam it right into there. We then need to take our end level of this one, a level 5-9, assign level 5-10 to it, hit save. We then need to open up level 5-10 itself to open up its end level to, oh, I already did that, never mind. Good job, past me. There's one thing I want to do, though. Um, the music for World 5, for the last level, that's basically just a trap in the end, happens. Um, I don't think I want to do that. I think what I want to do is change the music. So let's listen to uh, the music that we have not used. No. Maybe. Way too happy. Okay, I think we'll use this, the puzzle one. And go from there. So, uh, let's select our level once again. Go to music. Go to the puzzle. We'll just drop that in there. That way it is the final one there. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's just hit save real quick. Ugh, man. Everything's done. Everything is done more or less. Um, all the level ideas finished. We just have a couple of things left to do. First of all, in the final level script, we need to uncomment out level 33, which uh, is the game world manager uh, get, which we don't have currently, so that worked. Okay, so we uncommented that one out. Easy. Make a bunch of levels. Completed. Assign screenshots. We should actually change this to one now. And two, add levels to the game world script. We can actually just completely unload our testing space scene now. Unload that. Bye-bye. All right, so now we just have to add all of our levels here. So I'm gonna click that, go to level prefab. So four, seven was the last one we added, so we just need to add all of these here. Like this, we just need to make sure they're in the proper order. So seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine, 10, and the final. Nice. Okay. Ah. Cool. So now that that's been added, we can hit save. We can cross this off our list. I also gotta just remove this. So uh, let's just double check the notes that we've added here. Um, when loading data, uh, loading data happens in the main menu script, line 37, when it checks before activating the continue level uh, buttons. Okay. Saving data happens in the finish level script of a, a line number 46 where it waits to destroy the level until save is complete. World five, or five worlds, 10 levels each currently planned. If it will change, you need to edit the event tracker and other scripts that use high scores as well as the level select panel, which I think right now we're okay, at least what I'm assuming. And now we just have to do the screenshots thing that I was saying. Um, 
So let's open up our slime experiments thing here. Here's our level pictures. We ended at two, uh, 210 last time, so we have to go through a lot more. But anyway, we just need to load up our main menu screen, unload our game manager now, and then we can go ahead and focus on the camera here. Okay. The game is complete, I think. Um, all we have to do now is play test it to make sure there's no errors that we may have missed out in, because remember, the editor and the game in the real world are completely different. Um, yeah. So, there's, I guess there's one thing we could potentially do. So in the main menu script, Do I have that open? I do not. Oh, I do. Right there. I'm just blind. So, line 73... Or I guess it would have been 73, but I guess it's line 71 now, where we load the data. Um, we do sm.load data. I was thinking we could potentially just not load the high scores we don't have a high score for, but I think the way that we're doing it is not... Yeah, we're just loading everything at once. It's not like individual, so... Never mind. All right, let's make the game. Okay, so we go to File, Build Settings. Um, That's all fine. I don't think we have anything to change here. Um, we can go to our player settings and just check. So we have our thumbnails here for it. Uh, resolution presentation, full screen windowed is what we'll do here. Um, default is native resolution. Run in background doesn't matter. Standalone player options. Capture single screen. I don't know what that means. What's this? I wish would tell me if I covered over it. Use player log. Resizable window, visible in background, which means it's... Oh, now I can get the tooltip here. If set to true, the full screen window will remain visible even after switched into the background. Allow full screen switch. Okay. Splash image. Again, I'm not really sure what splash images are, so we'll just not do anything there. Okay. All right, I think that's all we have to do. We have the company name flag. Um, Fun experiments is the product name. Default cursor, we don't have a special one for that. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and close this. Just hit build. We will save to the slime experiments folder. Uh oh, got an error. Okay, that's that's fine. It's probably just a stupid like. Oh, there's a version control. Yep, right here. I don't know how sometimes the code ends up with stuff in it like that, but it happens sometimes. All right, let's try to build it again. Yeah, for those of you who have not seen me build the um, game before. For some reason, sometimes uh, a line of code up in the uh, the using area of the code here just appears that I did not add, and apparently the game can't have that line of code in it or something. And it's not just like one particular script, it's like multiple scripts will sometimes have it, and I don't know why. But uh, let, let's also go ahead and let's just stop our music here. Oops, I forgot how loud I was leaving the music. Ooh, okay, so that opened up my stuff here. We can now, if I just double click it, it'll open up the game. Should open up the game. All right. God, I 
title screen sort of garbage in it. I really wish I was like better at making like fonts and stuff like this. Because like just the, the, the pixelization you see like here and like here and stuff. I mean I could spend like so much time trying to clean it up. But I don't know. Is it worth it for a game that Probably no one's going to buy. <sighs> Not really. Anyway, if we uh, get credits, let's just make sure this works. Okay. Um, level select, world one, world two. The world one button does not work. Okay, great. So. World one button in level select doesn't work. Probably hid something in inspector I shouldn't have. And what I mean by that is uh, if we open up our thing here, not that one, this one. Um, if we open up our canvas and look at the level select panel, we bring that up here, and then uh, world panels and stuff like that. So the hmm, we open up the world one button, right, and hit that, and then we open up world one itself. I think all of these should by default be open, shouldn't they? Is that how World 2 is? It's not. Why are these not turning on then? Hmm. Hmm. Well, whatever. We'll figure that out once we're uh, a little bit further done. Or I could just test it now. So level select, world one. What error did I get here? World select buttons. Uh, dot one. Quick active, so it starts at zero. So it is saying that, okay, so if I hit two, it opens that up. What's saying world one level button zero is not a value? Okay, main menu. Um, Well, it's world one level buttons, right? It's trying to say that world one level buttons is not active? We have to run a debug here, I think. So if we go debug.log and then just do i, we should also do debug.log and then num of levels, levels, like that. We can just hit save, and I should be able to just click this and have it do its thing here. So I'm getting a range of numbers. Um, I guess because it's going through four each time. So we're starting at zero, then one, two, three, but I don't want to get 19. As the number. Right. Okay. I think I understand. So 
So because we have more than 10 levels, um, it's throwing an error. Because it's trying to do eight, or it's trying to do nine here, right? So when we get to level 11, there is no world 11 button, right? There's no, there's no button here for, well, I guess when it hits 10, because 10 would be level 11, there's no button um, in doing that. So we need to add in and i is less than wait how do i do this block so perhaps we do if num of levels is greater than nine because no greater than 10 we want to set num of levels equal to 10 to do that because that way it'll limit it to 10 Right, and so we should also do that for the other ones here. The world selected. Let, let me just look at this. So level equals highest level. And then we do level minus world selected minus one. So zero times 10. How do I get 19 from this? So int 1 minus 1 is 0 times 10 is 0. So we do level minus 0. So that's 19 minus 0, which gives me 19. God, that's a drownable way to do nothing. Absolutely nothing. But if we take, for example, level 2, which is two minus one is one times 10 is 10, minus that equals nine. And then I were to click two, we only see up to nine, we don't see the 10th level. Right. So maybe, maybe I don't need this line here. Maybe I'm just overthinking that bit. Um, and then we just take, I just do num of uh, levels here. And I just comment out that code. Um, and then like I was doing for this case, where if num of levels um, is greater than Uh, we want to do 20, then we want to set that equal to 10, else we want to do num of levels uh, equals num of levels minus 10, which because we have the 10 previous levels, right? So if it's like, if we have 11 levels, right, we want to do that. So yeah, also we can just do minus equals 10. We don't have to do that whole line there. Like that, I think is what we want to do. For the rest of these, it would just be increasing this to 30, and then this one to 20, and this one from 30 to 40. Oops, not there, I'm sorry. My bad. There we go. So this one goes to 40, and this one goes to 30, and this one goes to 50, and this one goes to 40. Right? That should take care of this, I believe. Now, if we have 
let's say we're level uh, 31, for example. So 31 would be part of world four, which would do that. Yeah, okay, that works. Yep. There's a little more code, but it does work. So now if we hit world one, we can see them all here. Hit world two, see them all there. Uh, I guess we don't see level nine, ten. Right, we won't see it because we didn't complete it, I don't think. Because we got an error at the end because it couldn't load up the next map. But it would show up if we did have it. So let's just hit save there. And uh, we don't have to worry about that in the game build. So that problem's been solved. We can go ahead and cross that one off our list here. We will just double check it once we come our out. Double check level select in game. I just made that say double check level select in game. So we can do that. Okay. Go main menu. Unless it continue. Okay. So yeah, this is level 10, right? Row, you can beat that bottom row. Let's go. I think I have it. I say, but then it looked like the bottom one decided to go a little bit faster. Oh, it's gonna be close. Gotta be close. me up so bad. Oh, come on! It's gonna be so close. Let's go! We made it! All right. First, let's uh, just wait so we can get our screenshot. Let's go to paint.net. I'm just going to paste this baby in here, expand the canvas. That way we can go ahead and get out of here. Get rid of these guys. Okay. Excellent. Then we can go on the, this over here. I'm not sure where the last place I saved was. Okay, just there. Game information, uh, slime experiment stuff, mobile screenshots. This is going to be 3 1. There we go. Okay. All right, so this one was a sliding puzzle. Let me just go down, left, up, right, up left, up, left, down, right, right, right? Okay. Um, and now, I think we use the destroyer block to destroy the gate, and then we use this to hit the pressure plate. 
Yes. Okay. And now we have to get a... These two blocks into... Right, I remember how to do this one. Push that down there. Push this one on top of it. Then we slide down here. I can then get up a little bit. And I can just push that. Right like that. Oops. We just slide over to here. Hit that. Slide back. Slide up. Over and down. Da -da. Okay. I want to get much away from to finish talking. Let's grab our screenshot. File. Oops, I can't just save as. I have to delete these stupid things, but at least I saved the colors so I can just go boop and boop. I have a little bit of extra down there, though. Unfortunate. There we go. Boop. File. Save. 3-2. What I meant to do. I meant to zoom back out like this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Setting that one aside again. Let's finish this level. So, boop. And then we flip this switch, which opens those. Hit this, which opens that one, which we cannot do anything with quite yet. Because we need to use a block to press that so we can flip this switch. To get these guys out. Which I'm going to use for this. Go so with that switch. And then, if we don't need to have this one here, we can just do this. We free that switch. And these are the last six for us. So, one. There's two, there's three, there's four, here it is, number five. Let's make a little bit of room here. And here we have the last number six. Perfect. All right, let's get these boys where they need to go. Well, I can actually move the entire train downward by like just pressing a little bit here, huh? Nice. A little bit further. Okay, that worked. I'm gonna push two at a time though, so we're gonna have to do that. Finish this level. Get that! And I would just wait for it to finish talking once again. Oh, right. This is Yule Destroyer Puzzle. I forgot about this one. And then file, save as, 3-2, 3-3, sorry, let's not overwrite the one we already did, huh? Okay. So, oh, I think that's what I had to do here, right? Fuck. Reset the level. I wasn't paying attention. So now we do this, and then that. Send another one. 
Some two destroyers, one, two, and one, two. One, two, one, two, just to make out for the sir, and one, two. Block we have to send. Oh, yeah. I can roll, lady. Okay. All right. Now we have the inverse puzzle. The exit doesn't work! That's not what I want to open. Level 3-4's exit doesn't work. Stat face. Okay, well, we can um, just fit. Craptastic, okay. Open up world four three. Or three four? Three four. Hey endpoint, where are you at? Why don't you work? What? Huh? Why doesn't it work? That's peculiar. Another error there. Well, it's a good thing I found that out now later. But oh wait, it's just just yeah, because it doesn't have a level image, so I can't select that one. I would do this one, for example, if there's Let's 
just a save. Um, let's open up the testing screen. Open up 3.4 here. I'm just going to hit play and then we can just mess with it here. Uh, I need to zoom in on this, please. Thank you. Um, items. I'm just going to open up all the gates by hiding them. And I'm going to move the player just right there. Mm -hmm. No reference. Right, that's the 33, but that doesn't matter right now. Um, I mean, it does matter, but... triggering because I already triggered it once. Yep. Mm. Um, if I open up a debug, I can't uncheck that, right? Wait, what? As triggered is not equal? If game world manager isn't assigned? Well, obviously. the scene. Ugh. Well, I certainly did a thing. Go ahead and just do that and get around like that. Okay. Um, all these gates close. Player. I'll move him now. that. Now we're approaching, we're approaching, and it, it, it worked? Why didn't it work before, though? I don't understand. I guess the only thing I can do to try and fix the issue Save. Um, is to potentially just grab the end level point and bring it out a little bit further. Just to make absolutely sure that they can hit it, I guess. Well, while we're here, I might as well add in the level screenshots that we took. Because why not? Oops, not that button. But I set these to be 32 as well. No, they're both 100. Okay. And then... Na, 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 na. I'll just... I'll leave them there. We'll assign them later. Now. But, uh... Okay. So let's open up the... I'm going to just delete the slime experiments. Uh, game files. We're going to build it one more time here. And then hopefully when we get back to this level, we'll be able to actually beat it and not not beat it. Right? <laughs> also, I should be um, testing out whether or not when you reset the level if it uh works or not right so we hit continue should load us into world three four or three three um oh apparently it counted that i beat that level interesting 
right, well, let's get our screenshot here. We'll grab this. Paste it over to here. And we'll remove our slime. Remove that slime. Remove that. And then we're just going to go bloop, bloop, bloop. And file save as 3 5. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze you. Alright, so let's reset. Reset again. Reset one more time. No issues. Perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and we will make this happen. We get down there. Slime comes through, slime goes up. It has to use the destroyer block to destroy that. Go up here and then... Remember, Chris, this was tricky to do. I think we had to do like this. Oh, hold on. Like this and then... There we go. Ah, how did I do this? How did I do this? Like when I was messing around here. Is this one even possible? Like I, I did it before, didn't I? I had to have done it before. Unless I like did something weird like this and then like I don't know how I would have done it. Nothing else I can do right now once I hit that pressure plate, yeah? Really? How did I do this before? It must have been some weird physics in the editor where, like, I was able to move the slime through it. Because as soon as I get off, it's, it messes me up. Or I guess I just messed around with the pressure plate enough until it like broke. Yeah, I 100% did that. Jesus Christ. Who made this level? Like, who, who approved that this level should exist, right? Idiot. Okay, well, the solution here is, is very simple. Um, I just need to get a vertical gate, horizontal gate, whatever, and I just need to move it like right there. Easy peasy. I'm not going to take another screenshot. It can just sit there. Oh. Because, like, a screenshot for just a couple of pixels there would be pointless. Ah. That, that was upsetting. I don't know how I managed to make the, uh... I don't know how I did it when I was in the editor playing it. It doesn't make any sense that I was able to somehow get through there with the slimes. I had to have done some really weird nonsense to do it. Okay, 
So now if I go up here and go down here. There we go. Okay, now I can just go up here. Push this guy over to here. Hit that, hit that. Come back up to here to let the slime out. We can come down here to hit that. So I can come down here to hit this. That we can both get in here to hit these to leave. Okay, we got our screenshot. Get rid of these guys. And boop, boop, boop. File save as 3 6. Okay. So if I remember correctly, and I, I don't think I do. I think we had to push this block. <sighs> I think first of all we have to move this block out of the way. This block can be pushed across here and into the depositor. And this one, I have to get up here. It's just still in the way. Is something supposed to open that gate? Was that gate supposed to be there? I'm so confused. Um. Oh, down here. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot. Shit. I fell into my own trap! I can't believe I did that. I'm so dumb. I didn't- no, oh, no, shit. Fuck. I'm going to use the unstuck button. Aha! Okay, so now I can bring this one over here. But I remember now we have to use these conveyor belts. I didn't remember that this door was open. Okay. I right, push them through. The inverse block goes its separate way. The normal block goes its way. I hit those, which opens that gate up. And then apparently, I didn't remember that the inverse blocks could go into the thing there, but apparently they can. So, we need to use this block to push the inverse block into that conveyor belt, if I remember correctly. There we go. We can come down through here, but we need two blocks. Oh no! However, will I get two blocks through here? Oh wait, I know. Push it across the ice, baby. Oh god, oh god, oh god, that was weird. Oh, Jesus. I just want you to know, when I was, when I went to the right there, I, um, 
I didn't actually press anything that went to the right. Also, this is how you can get a block away from the corner if you need to. All right. Next level, another screenshot to grab. Inverse blocks just have such sketchy mechanics, man. Okay, let's grab our screenshot. Go ahead and get rid of the slime and the time. If I wanted to, I could just be really lazy and just leave the slime and the time there. But what's the fun in that? Okay, so we need to get a get both of these into there. I just have one extra for no reason. I, I totally forgot what I designed this puzzle for. Or I can't get this one out, can I? I think I need that one for something else. Don't I? hit that it spawns that oh right that's what I needed for all right I can't get it out I just have to push it up here further so yeah the, this block is used to get rid of that destroyer block but I can move over here so that I can go directly through here to push that up there push it over here Push it up there. Push it over there. And push it up there. We come down through here, and we need... I've actually forgotten what it's we have to do here. Um, so that's going to spawn a destroyer block when we tag it. We need to have this block go through it, so I think we just need to go up here with this one. And then down through here. Like that, let me just pull this one out of the way for now. Until I remember what that one's for. Um, let me just push this one up here. And go over to here. That's going to spawn that, but that's fine. Get rid of that, do that, and then... Was that inverse block just for nothing? Or did I actually use it for something and I'm just... I don't need it? Well, anyway. It's nice going through these levels that I've uh, previously designed. Because I honestly do not remember them at all. So it's actually like, what do I do here? Sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and assign our stuff. Also, I'm, I keep forgetting to hit the reset level button to uh, see what is going on with this. So let's hit reset level. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Um, Extra blocks somehow showed up again. Let me just hit escape here for a second. Shit. Where did the two inverse blocks come from? There was one down here and one up here. And a normal block here. This level's not supposed to have anything in it, right? This is three nine. No three. What level is this? Right, I took a picture of it. 
Hold up. I'm just dumb. Um, yeah, it's not supposed to have any blocks in it. Where did that extra inverse block come from? I don't have anything spawned there. Let me open up my uh, thing here. And we want to say I'm just going to say make the level destroy spawn work better. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what the hell I'm doing with it exactly, but yeah. Let's open this back up. Hit level reset. So I can just get a new picture of it again. Uh, that does not have those unnecessary blocks. Hey, do you suppose that inverse block was from a previous level? You suppose that's what happened? That's why that inverse block was there? Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way, man. Really? If we open up 8, 7, I don't think that inverse block was supposed to be there. Yep, that inverse block is from there. So if we edit 8, 7, I was wondering why that inverse block was there. Let's just take the screenshot and we'll just remove that block. Um, let's hit save. Okay. Awkward. Okay, so let's reset one more time. So I hit this, it spawns a block. Hit this, it spawns a block. I remember this one. Let's just get some stuff out of the way first of all. So let's go boop, and then let's go boop, and boop. Let's push all these down. Hmm, yeah, it's too late now, damn it. I forgot we can just destroy the gates. So we don't have to have a block sitting there. That's fine. Okay, so first things first, let's get rid of these gates. Man, the destroyer block is really slidey when we're out of the editor, isn't it? So we're going to remove this from here, which for some reason did not destroy the gates, actually. I, mean, I guess it did, but for whatever reason, they're still turning on and off. That's great. Okay, anyway, we'll just ignore that. Okay, so we destroyed that portal, so now I can push this up against here without any issues. But we do need a destroyer block there as well. God, I forgot how annoying this fucking level was. Oh my god. Shit! Right, you destroy the pressure plate. <sighs> Not the doors. I'm an idiot.
gods. One, two, three. Oh my god. Can't believe I've done this. Okay. I'm gonna take this guy, put it there. I'm gonna get my destroyer block. I'm going to first of all destroy this portal. I'm gonna get another destroyer block. Slide it down here. Slide it over here. We're gonna slide this block off of that now. Now when I push this, it should trigger and then destroy it, so the gates are permanently gone. We then need to get a destroyer block back down here to destroy the portal that's across the way there. Very carefully. Yep, figure as much. Now we can get a normal block. I think we need a normal block. No, we need another destroyer block first. Don't, don't you fucking do this to me, you piece of shit. Get this one ready. I'm not gonna send it up right now. I think I can save this if I just fuck around and find out. Never mind. Screw that. Screw it. I. Now we've got to be careful not to push a block into the destroyer block up there, or else I will screw myself over. Little tap, there we go. Okay. Because this destroyer block is for that red block down there. That we need to destroy. Boop. So we can get the other block. Don't push it into the destroyer block. Okay. Oh my god. Well, at least this level wastes time. Yes. So we want this block to be pushed just straight across here? <sighs> right? Yes. And then I want to go here and do that. Right? Okay. Now we just need to get one more destroyer block. And we will be good. Please to make sure. Please, 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 please let me get down there. No, don't do this to me. Don't make me get another one to destroy that one and then another one again. Oh my god, I hate the destroyer blocks. Because you move too fast with them, they're just going to get stuck. Damn velocity and volatile movement of them. Well, it's kind of ironic that the... Uh, Destroyer blocks are the ones that are causing the issues here. Okay. Can't hit a block void. 
Gotta be careful with it. Is that really where I chose to put that? Hmm. I don't remember why I made it like this. Also, I just realized that the, that's a sheer uh, thing right there. That, uh, that bit right here it doesn't have a, an edge to it. Anyway, out we go. Oh, finally. Oh god, I just realized. On the levels where he starts rambling, I'm gonna have to wait so long to get a screenshot. Not that one. Grab the wrong thing. Oops. There we go. File, save as, 3 9. Finger guns. Okay. We spawn a block. We then send it over. What does this block do again? Oh yeah, it does that. Right, okay, anyway. Let's go ahead and we can zip these into here. I don't think we need to care about like how quickly we do it. We can just do it one after the other here, right? Although, what happened to the second gate? Why is the second gate not open? First gate dead. And then. Wait, what? That conveyor belt triggered too early. That one, like, right when the destroy block hit there, it triggered that. Let's just reset the level a couple of times. Oh, that's fine. Let's go to the main menu. Uh, confirm exit. If we go to level select, world one, we can now see that works. World two, perfect. World three, perfect. All these buttons work. Nice. Okay. Main menu. Um, settings. Cool. Uh, exit. All right. Well, before we fix that problem, it has been over two hours, and I forgot to take a break at the two hour mark. So let's all get up, get some drinks, stretch, go to the bathroom, whatever you have to do. Let's just take a little time and do that. So I will be right back in just a moment. I will put up some music for you guys though, don't worry. Yo.
All right, and we're back. So uh, that was level three nine. The pressure plate was not triggering right. Also, the pressure plates um, are supposed to be underneath conveyor belts, but they're not. So let's go conveyor belt. Click all of them uh, above background one. That way they actually will be behind the conveyor belts. Um, I didn't mean to actually <clears throat> do that. But okay, so in, in this level, we're having an issue with uh, right here, that happening. Is there a pressure plate right there? If, if I look at conveyor belts, and I just select all of them real quick, and I uncheck that. So there's there's not. So how was that? How's that happening? Where is that pressure plate? Right there. And then this pressure plate triggers pressure plate number nine, which is that one. But. <clears throat> It, 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 hmm. Is it because it centers the block? That might actually be it. This conveyor belt also centers the block, though. So I'm not sure how I could get around that. Maybe I could move the pressure plate that triggers that. If I move that pressure plate, if I can select the right one. Um, I just move it down to here. It's still hidden, but it gives me a little bit extra space to work with to do that. So we hit save. That should fix that problem um, and whatnot. And, and while we're at it, while I'm here and we're just putzing around, um, we should look at our script for creating levels. So the game world manager, is that it? That does the level spawn. Well, I guess first we need to look at, let, let, let's close some of the stuff we're not gonna need right now. Um, the end game script, that one's finished. The lever script, don't need that. Slime script, pressure plate script, the conveyor belt script, depositor, um, attack projectile, block void, portals, and then the level script. Okay, so. The only things that matter right now are the finished level script, because when we end the level, right, we do delete level, which deletes the old level, and spawns the new one in. So, I mean, actually, this one just deletes the level and then tells it, hey, spawn this next level. And then once we tell it to, to spawn the next level, this one gets destroyed. So, or actually, if I open up this thing, the world we were having issues with was this one was showing stuff still, right? When we had gone to level three, eight. We had some stuff here from 3.7, right? Yeah, but I guess 3.7 only had a an extra uh, inverse block because of 3.6, right? Looks well, like these blocks didn't get destroyed, but they all should because they're all, ch like, all in here. So why is it not happening? Because it's not like... The level's getting destroyed. So it's it's not like the... Because they're all sitting as child. It's not like they're spawning a block in. Right? Nothing gets spawned in on these. That just opens that gate. 
Let's look at those gates. That gets pushed to there, that gets pushed into there. So nothing is getting, like, respawned, right? Let me test one thing out. I do want to check here. Um, let's hit play, and we can just delete level one, one or whatever. Let's just delete level one. Okay, so if I were to push these blocks into here, and then I hit reset level, fuck, that's the problem. Because all of the blocks, they don't get reset into the correct thing. So if I reset a level and then finish this level, for example, and this level goes bye-bye, these blocks still remain. Okay. I understand now. So in the level script, we actually need to change up how stuff respawns. Or I guess the level reset script? So... You just destroy all the blocks. That for the pitfalls, we just reset them. About so if I look at Spawn. We do spawn points, transform position. So if I do x dot set or transform dot parent equals this dot game object dot get child. How did I do that before? Um, game object dot transform dot child. All right. Game object dot transform dot child. And then from that child, it would be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I mean, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so six. Um, so if we do that, all blocks. Oh, sorry, it's not a bracket, it's, uh, it's, it's that, right? Okay. So that should change the parent to be the items, right? Or to be that. I do believe that's what we want to do. So let me copy this, and then what else do we do here? Let me see. Do we I do instantiate G? I don't do anything else. Okay. But there is one other concerning thing that there is for me then. Um... Let's find another level, like... I guess let's test this first and then we can test out the next thing I wanted to look at. So, first of all, delete world one. We're just gonna hit reset. 
everything resets, but let me just double check by moving these off. Push, push, reset level. Okay, there, everything. It, it didn't appear outside of this area, so that's good. Let's unload that. We can delete this level now. I want to test another level though. I think it's this one. So the previous level, but if we hit play, we can check something real quick. So as the things start firing, yeah, you see the projectiles also um, come out of the uh, attack towers as those. So we need to go to our prefab attack tower, attack tower script, and we need to make the projectiles um, children of the level. So we need to do uh, game object dot find game object with tag. I want to do tag up level. I want to do transform get child six. So Raj L. So we can set the uh, child object here. Raj R. Raj U. And then we are done. I do believe with that. So now if we test this one more time, the projectiles, I'm not going to remove the other thing. I'm just going to let it go. Once they start firing, the projectiles should not show up outside of here. In fact, if we open up this level, we can see them in here showing up now. Okay. Good to know. But if we hit that, is the item, is the destroyer block showing up? The destroyer block does show up inside the item. That was the other thing I was curious about. This is just a mess. Get rid of that. The other thing I was curious about, yeah, was... Uh, when we do spawn a destroyer block, is it going to show up in here or is it going to show up outside? But it looks like when we use the pressure plate to spawn, it does already child properly. And if I look at my prefabs for that in the um, pressure plate, let's open this up. When I do an instantiate, okay, so I, I do would transform uh, parent equals this parent, which is, is great. Um, I don't know why I did that there, but not anywhere else, but that helps. Okay, so our issue with the, the blocks um, showing up in other levels, it was not because of timing between the levels. It was actually because of the reset not having the uh, objects where they're supposed to go. So let me just look at the prefabs. Is there anything else that like creates an object or anything like that? I guess the converter block technically does. Um, we instantiate here. Let's see. We do change the parent though. Let's uh, find there. Um, anything else that instantiates? The destroyer block just destroys. Pitfall doesn't do anything. Um, lever doesn't do anything. I think. We are, ooh, the singularity could potentially cause issues. Uh, so if you look at the block void, and we look at the singularity, we do set the parent. Why is it that like, I set the parent in everything except for like certain things? I, I was like, oh yeah, if we're spawning in the projectiles from an attack thing, we're just gonna have, I guess because I was thinking they'll be destroyed anyway after a moment, but they could potentially destroy um, blocks that are necessary for the next level, or other things. 
Um, so that's not good. Yeah. Okay, we can get rid of that. Um, was there anything else? The attack tower spawn we dealt with, the block avoid we did that, gates don't matter because they don't spawn anything, converter block is fine, depositor doesn't spawn anything, um, movable blocks don't spawn, levers don't spawn, pitfalls don't spawn, player avoid doesn't spawn, portals don't spawn, pressure plate does but it's fine, projectiles are all fine, singularity's fine. Okay, I think everything is good here now. Um, we can actually just delete this and double check the level select in game. It worked fine. That was great. Um, yeah. Jeez, man. You think you have like everything working and then one thing happens and you're like, wait a second. That's what gets you. This is why playtesting and stuff is important because I would have thought everything was feature complete. All we need to do is grab screenshots. However, that little issue really screws us over. In fact, I wonder if maybe we don't even have to wait this long to uh, do anything now. So if we just wait like 0.25 seconds, it might actually be fine. So I think our issue with stuff like showing up in other levels was this. But you know what? We'll, we'll just leave it at one just for the sake of things. I mean, Having a little bit of time between levels is fine. I'm not too upset if we do that. So we're going to go ahead and go to build settings, build it again. And this should take care of pretty much everything that we could potentially see as issues coming up other than, you know, little other things that we cannot foresee. So I'm, I'm glad I, I found that stuff that was causing issues, especially the reset, like, oh. So while that's loading, I want to double check in the uh, level reset script. Instantiate. I can spell it right. That's the only place we instantiate. Everything else we just turn on or off. Uh, we don't really spawn anything. Just fine with me. Okay. Go ahead and pause our music here. Start up the game. And continue playtesting. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Okay. okay so now it goes down, and that works. Okay. And we know everyone else works, so we can just start funneling these directly in without too much worry. Should we speed run this motherfucker? And then we just need this last one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, go on the conveyor belt, damn it. There we go. Alright, so now we just spawn all the blocks that we can here. Created. And now we just need five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five. That's right, we can count to five. Good job! Can you say five? I don't know why the fuck I'm doing that. Weird. Anyway. Onward we move. And as we push them into the things, we shall go faster and faster. Bam, easy peasy. Congratulations, you have earned your freedom by beating my experiments. I'm actually going to leave that one in. Uh, that dialogue there.
and this one is 310. Excellent. Well, look you over here. Why don't we say hello? Sounds about moving. They appear to be made of painted wood. Nothing all of them say. I'm kind of a lover. Oh, look. An exit. <laughs> oh, we found our way out, did you? Yeah, that freedom thing was a lie. It was a test to see if you could tell my fake slimes and nature apart from real slimes. Looks like you did, and managed to find the next level to the next experiment. As a surprise, I'll introduce you to a new block. The conversion block. It functions similar to a pressure plate. Why don't you move a block onto it, and you'll figure it out. Okay. Let's go ahead and save as 4-1. Okay, so we're gonna move this one over to here. Oh. oh wow, that turned into a different thing. That's weird. That's strange, how very peculiar. <clears throat> so I think we just wanna push it down. We need to get it converted into a purple block on the next one. So we need to go like that, push it down, and we can pull it out here. And then go over to here. We can then mess up and have to use the unstuck command. God damn it. I'm really glad I put that unstuck command in there. Um, it's very nice. And thank the gods for it. Okay, so this one. If I remember correctly, I had previously just, like, brute-forced this puzzle entirely by um, somehow messing up at the bottom. Oops, that's not where I wanted to shove that at all. Oopsie, poopsie. Hmm. Aha! Just like that. Again, no idea how that worked, but it did. Um, also, I think it has come to my attention that we did not remove the time and stuff from this level. Oops, wrong button. I'll just cut these. Go bloop, bloop. Ah, shit. We need to grab a new color now. What is, uh... What is this? An orange and white line of pixels up there? I don't know what that is. Anyway, let's just hit save. I don't see them there. Hmm. Must be just that one level. Anyway, let's paste. Let me do the same thing here. Okay. File. It has 4 2. We're good. Okay. Hold on. What is that? You'll see it. The orange and yellow, but there's nothing there. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's go ahead and uh, reset the level couple of times just to make sure we didn't get a screenshot after the dialogue was done we'll do it last time though god darn it i'm getting too quick on it okay so now we can get our screenshot oh that's what it is that's the yellow white thing or the orange yellow thing up there it's the, uh, the screenshot pool. It doesn't quite go away in time to capture the screenshot. Okay, let's reset one more time, just so I can get a block going here. Almost just ran right into that projectile, like some sort of idiot. I'm just gonna get rid of these attack towers. 
because I do not like them. Also, the extra blocks that are in my way, I can just get rid of two. Whoop! I'm pretty sure I would have died if I wouldn't have uh, just moved there. Let's get rid of that, and no more projectiles that could potentially cause issues for me. All right. Now we've just got to load up the collider. Oh, the tedium of walking back and forth and doing this. That was shit. Alright, we just gotta load one more in, then we're done with moving the destroyer blocks around. Assuming I don't mess this up somehow. By flipping the three levers at the wrong time. Let's get to the bunker, flip the levers, create a singularity. Boop. Ready, set. Bloop, bloop, and bloop. Boom. Singularity has been created. Nice. This music is actually really good for this right now. I just want to point out. Easy peasy. Okay. Not oh, gods, I remember this puzzle. But first, screenshot. I almost just hit control S, which would have been bad. 4 3. There we go. Okay. So. Right, this was all about timing and stuff, wasn't it? What is that? I was like, why is that there? But I remember now. Because we I made that just so we can push a block down to here to get a block ready to go into there. Right, so if I remember correctly, we push this block to open that gate, we push that into there to do that. Which then does a cycle. Okay, so first of all... That there. This one ready to load up there. Push that one down. Push that one in. Just had enough time to do that one. God dang. Okay, and now we've just got to go through and do this. It's always a pain in the ass. Here, back through that one, push it down again, and go through here, back through here, pull it, back through here, back through here, push it. I'm just gonna wait for these to open. Get through again. I'm gonna leave. Easy.
Okay. Boop. Ooh. Boosh, boosh. File, save as. 4-4. Four four. Okay. First of all, let's put a blocker there. We can go ahead and block that one off as well. So I remember this level being harder because this was before we had decided to make these yellow blocks be able to block the block or block the projectiles. Um, but now it's going to be a lot easier for us, at least, because we can just literally use the yellow blocks to do whatever the hell we want now. It's so good. I'm going to load up a few of these and take them down here. Oops, just a little bit further, there we go. Give it a nice linear line here. Okay, I can move these down. I'm gonna try to get a little space to get this one down as well. There we go. Put that there. Push these over to here. Wait for it to hit, and we can push it down now. Oop. I don't know why I pushed them all the way over there when I could have just waited right here with them. Pushed them both down like this, gone around here, and push these three in. We get three. One, two, three. Let's not get distracted and get hit by a projectile and have to reset the entire level again. Let's get this nice and close to that. There we go. All right, let's grab three more. One. Two, well, I guess there's four now, huh? All right, there we go. Let's get these boys across. All right, safety in numbers, as they say. Safety in numbers. We're just gonna have to be careful not to get hit here. Now we can go ahead and just push these down. And like last time, just push this one over a little bit to apparently not do what I want it to do. It's fine, we have to go here anyway. Oh. Oh, that was way too close for comfort right there. That's fine. We can just go ahead and push these two in to give ourselves enough room to make sure we we're able to get that one uh, right where we need it. So let's go ahead and get this guy down here. Wait and go. And just like that, the level's completed. So even with the uh, projectiles being able to be blocked, it still took us like three, four minutes there. So not bad. Oh, gods. Uh, let's just save there, but boop, and boop. File, save as, 4-5. 15 more levels to go, boy. Wait, is it 15, or is it like 16? It's, yeah, 15, okay. All right, so... I think the first time we push this one in, it just does that. Okay. And if I push this one in here, it goes out through there. Okay, what about this top one? It goes to that one. Okay, that's fine. What about the last one right here? That one. Okay. 
we just have this one and this one left, I think. He's a little bit closer so I can push him at the same time. Ah, right, I forgot that one resets. Okay, which one was that? Was that three or four? Wait, the destroyer block didn't come back. Hold on, reset the level. Got another issue. Level um, 4-5, the destroyer block when reset goes up. The conveyor doesn't turn back downwards. I think that might be because of a change we made later on. Um, if we open up my thing here and open up that level, uh, levels 4, 5, right? So if we look at the pressure plate, um, it just does a gate, right? But this thing seems to be up down. So is it not, I guess it's not resetting the, it's not resetting it properly, huh? Pressure plate script, how do we reset? So reset pressure plate, conveyor to manipulate undo trigger. So if it's down, we at the original direction, clear colliding objects. Hmm? That sounds like it should work. Excuse me. Let me take four or five into our testing area. Okay. Let's hit play. The word of the clone, of course. Um, so if I just hit reset right away, okay, it, it does its thing. But we push this one here first. I'm going to open the gate, push the conveyor belt. And do that. Then if I hit reset, so the conveyor belt is not flipping back. Apparently. Why? Let's double check this conveyor belt. I got that pressure plate. The residue direction is down. Flip direction is up. So if I click this conveyor belt, it still says it's going up. I hit reset level now. I think I have to do this so the debug actually comes up. Oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Here we go. Okay. Let's move that in there. It goes towards the pressure plate. We reset the level. Undoing trigger does not work. Why?
when we come through here to reset the pressure plate, debug.log resetting pressure plate. Because it should, conveyor belt to manipulate is not null. So it's going to do the undo trigger, but then it never happens. Let's try this one more time. So it's saying resetting pressure plate on all of them. <clears throat> on one through nine, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. We have eight pressure plates. We have seven pressure plates. I forgot to add a pressure plate. There. Well, it's not a big deal for testing purposes, um, since we know it will work uh, properly. I just have to go in here and add it to its thing. Right there. Okay, now we hit save, and now we can actually do it. But it doesn't matter for us right here. Just hit reset level one more time. Um, yeah, so basically we don't need that. To, actually, we do need that to happen. Fuck. Main menu. Or mix it. Continue. Because now we should give us a fresh start on this one. We can actually do what we need to do here. All right, now we can just go hog wild and push these everywhere they need to go. Which pressure plate didn't get triggered? Isn't there something I have to actually like? Right, I have to hit that lever. So I need to come into here, hit this lever, come through here, and then I can leave. It took me about a minute. That's fine though. Except for the fact that the fucking level doesn't end! Level 4 5. Well, we fixed that issue, but now. Level doesn't end. A smiley face. A smiley face, but it doesn't end. So if we go to the main menu now. Let me open up this. Why? Why do you not end, sir? I guess I'll move it out a little bit further. Like, it's just bizarre. I've opened this up and hit continue. Hmm. It's like it didn't trigger. Okay. Because previously we'd seen that, like, it seemed like it did trigger, but then didn't. So I don't. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and add in the rest of our level screenshots that we've taken so far. Then we might as well add them into the other thing whilst we're at it, I guess. Or should I? Maybe I shouldn't yet. <clears throat> we can just wait. Yeah, we'll just wait. Okay, so I've moved the level exit a little bit further. So let's delete our game and rebuild it and see if that will let it work. I can also test the save. 
Let's see if that will allow us to, uh, you know, do the stuff and things, I guess. Probably. I think we will finish getting the screenshots and stuff today. Um, the only question is if we'll finish the game today, if there's any game-breaking bugs that we find. We might have to take some time to fix, but we'll see what happens. All right, launch the game. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like the, the previous one that we had, like, oh, it's just not gonna uh, do anything on. Is that? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure which one I actually hit there. Yeah, for whatever reason, like, the, the previous time that we had that happen where we couldn't exit the level, it still, like, let us exit the level, right? It was weird. Because, like, it technically, like, worked. Because when we hit continue again, we, uh... Didn't have any issues. That's all the gates, so we should leave through one. Get down through here. Boop. Then I can just come down here and leave. Alright, so will it work this time? That's the question. It did, okay. Perfect. Yeah, again, I have no idea why some of them are like that. Uh, it seems to only be the ones that are like on the left side, though, which is weird. Maybe the hitbox is just a little bit wonky for it. <clears throat> I can't tell. Anyway, let's get our next screenshot. So we can continue the game. Four six. Okay. <clears throat> what is that? Okay. We're gonna hit reset, and this spawns a block. Oh right, this is a uh, movement puzzle. What do these two do? Those go up. Goes that way. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we want to go that way. Go up. Go up. So we push this one here. We got to get it wrong, buddy. No. Shoot. Not gonna be in time. Need to see it. Okay. Well, we'll just do another one as well. Since we are here, last one. There we go. Okay. And now that we'll probably have enough time to get the rest of them before we have any issues here. There we go slide that one. Up and then we go down, so we go boop. Okay. And with this, that should be the last one. Right, there's supposed to be a pressure plate there, but there's not. <clears throat> it worked, but it's just not visible. Right. So our little uh, notepad. Uh, level 4-6, the pressure plate on the ice isn't visible. Raise it up a layer. Very easy. I'm not going to go to Unity and do that now. <clears throat> it's fine. Okay, so this one. Right, this is that one. Oh, no. This one's always such a pain. Will that work? Okay, it's going to work. Nice. Wait, what am I doing? Reset. I need to get a picture. I was just so in the zone of playing the game that I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't do anything right now. I can just relax. 
I must just save again. God darn it. 4 7. Ugh. I'm going to be glad when we're done taking screenshots. 100%. Okay, so we're going to flip this. And like I said before, we're just going to go bloop with that one. What do the rest of these do? Right, they're switching those around here. Okay. So, this guy, I can kind of move up to here, and it needs to go be pushed downward, but we can't do anything with that yet. So we're going to... Not there. Down. Here we go. I'm going to push this guy. I forget which conveyor he is. That one. Restart. Okay, let me double check this again. This was the last one here. We'll do these first. They're the most annoying. The ones that are up higher. Okay, so we get rid of that. And I can pull this lever to send it over to here. I need to go get it now. Move it into the proper hole. We're sliding across here on the conveyor belts, yada, yada, yada. All we go. Slide down here, slide over here, down here, slide over here. Push this block now. I can go ahead and slide my happy butt back over to here. Whee! Okay. And we can flip the next one up to do the same exact thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit! Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go down here, though, and then over to here so I can do this. Why not? We... And there we go. I'm gonna slide up here. Um, I guess that works. Not really what I meant to do, but it works. All right, what I should be doing is actually going down through here, and then I can just go over to the right here. Very easily get down that way. Okay. Next lever. We'll go to the first one here. Okay. It's gonna go across, yada yada. Flip it again. It's gonna go down. We can then do the last one here. Well, that one's going across. I'm going to go down. Yeah, apparently, if you're on the edge of the ice block, it doesn't necessarily want to slide you across. Which is interesting. Okay. We flip this one again. Just do this last thing here. Like right here, I'm hitting W, or D, I guess, and it's not sliding me. If I get like right on the edge of one, like really luckily, I don't get pushed. Which I guess is nice for me, for the player and stuff, but... Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll just destroy all of these stupid levers that are in our way. We can go ahead and just shove this one over here. Mm 
now we have room to work with up here. Okay, let's get these sent on to where they need to go. Alrighty. Yeah. Let's get this one sent. Yeah, this one, there we go. Oh no! I went to shit. Okay. This guy sent over. We go. The last one on this side. We want to put it here. Put you there. Come down to here. Go over this way. Push. Push you. It's not working very well. I'm gonna pop it. There we go. That's another time. I think it's because I kind of didn't. Really? What if I hit it from like way over here? Yaha! There we go. So it's going to go over to there. That's fine. Um, I I am forgetting how I unseal the one on the right. Right, I remember now. Never mind. Do you remember? I remember. It's because the middle conveyor belt does not do anything. So if we push this one, it clips to those and goes right across there. Hell yeah, brother. All right, so what we're going to do is... I think now we can go here, go down, we can go across, and when we hit this one, I can go up, and I can then get pushed all the way fucking back like an idiot. This one's tricky to move. Okay. I think if I just were to go up here, no, you piece of shit! But what the fuck am I doing? No, don't, don't pump me back that way, no! That's fine. <laughs> you know what, yeah, send me the hole, send me the hole. I'll just reset. Very fast. Okay, so what I can do... Because I can just go this way. You know, these conveyor belts will help me uh, get to here. I can get down to here, push it down to here, push it over to here. God damn. I was a creator and this one took me like this long. I know when I like first tested this level out, it did not take me this long. Finally done though. Finally done! Huzzah! Okay, so drop a screenshot, file, not save as, we have to remove the slime and stuff first. File, save as, 4 8, yes. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we could like get these to go and hit multiple of the, uh... Well, not like that, obviously. That one's probably gonna fucking make it, too. Just to, like, piss me off, ain't it? Yep. Could've had two at once, but no. Okay, so let's go here. We should make it, yeah? Yeah! Alright, that's gonna hit both of those. Knock that queen out of the shot. I think I can go just now. Nope. Ah, goddammit. Oh, right, I remember how to, like, do it.
do this a little bit differently. I think we just like push both at the same time. That way one could be protected while the other one was making his way across. But it still shot the one I didn't want it to. You cheeky bugger. Okay. But we can definitely try that one down here as well. Not like that though. I guess I guess it wouldn't work down here, would it? Because this is the very like first one. Okay, I'm gonna nudge it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so just now. Ah. Let's do the top one first, just to get it out of the way. I'm just gonna send some randos down there. Of course that worked. Okay. So, let's send it now. Probably won't work, so let's get another one ready. Oh, 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 it worked, hell yeah. All right, so we can't go that way, but we can go this way. We just gotta avoid the... <laughs> I can Find that one out of the way. You know, now that I think about it, you could have sent like another destroyer across here. <clears throat> no, never mind, you couldn't have. It wouldn't matter. All right, I'll complete it. Oh, we're almost done with the purple levels, boy. Oh fuck! I forgot this. This is the him talking series. Yeah, I. Uh, I mean, I guess I could, since I did. Managed to do this. I could just go like, and then like that. Easy. Good job, me. All right. Okay. So, um, we just need to get the blocks down there. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. I'm sure that's only four, but still. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh, I just, I just need one more, sir. Thank you. I might need a couple more after this, but luckily they all just kind of wanged together right there. Let me get in here and pull this fucking lock. Oh god, oh god, oh god, it started to like push me by itself. That was, ooh, that was crazy. All 
I feel like one block just suddenly disappeared from somewhere. I had enough blocks spawned, right? And then I made an extra one. Is something supposed to be in that conveyor belt? Oh, right, it spawns blocks. I forgot. Those block is for this. And that releases those, which then I kind of get screwed on because... Get, get out. There we go. Get rid of that guy. Hmm, I'm gonna put it down. That's four, and the last one right here. Number five. Is stacking the blocks like this faster? I don't know. Who can say? One, two, done. So that spawns a block, which goes into there, okay. Oh no! Oh no! I overfed it! No! No! Why? Why would you do this? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, me going in there really uh, helped a little bit, I guess. Shit. Well, that one's wedged in the fucking middle up there, isn't it? Boy. Come on, you. You bastard. Really can't help it here. That's what I get for being greedy. It all takes so long to do, too! Ah! <laughs> I don't want to do it again! Okay, we'll, we'll reset the level. I'm so upset. Like, I'm so upset. Oh, fuck, just reset the level again. Unity development area, or else I could just cheat. Who the fuck designed this game? God damn. Faster to just uh, go in the pit right there. back so I can push it there. Okay. So I can push the next one over. Yeah, that's how I got fucked the first time, isn't it? Oh fuck, 
Oh no. Oh no. It just works. Chat. It's just, it just it just works, you know? Come on. You know you wanna? You know you wanna trigger? Come on. Can I just drag it across and will it trigger the hole? Either I get in the pit and I get respawned, or the hole gets in there. Nice. Okay. That's what you love to see. Well, goodbye to that block. That's such a waste. I always feel so fast after we uh, let go of a block. Okay. So, flip both of these. Hit, wait, hit, wait, hit, wait, hit, wait, hit, wait, hit, wait, hit, wait. Okay, that's six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Later on, home oh, mother fucker, son of a bitch. just to find out that the level doesn't end. Oh, I'm so upset. This, this fucking thing, if I, if I do this, and what, what if I hit zero? Okay. Let's, let's, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, a little bit, a little bit, unmagnetize this motherfucker. I'm just gonna, right there. Okay. Before we go any further, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just assume for every single one where the, uh, level exit is on the left side, we're gonna have a bad time. So how many do I have? Fucking lot, it looks like. That one should be fine. Oh, look, another one. Yeah, better to do this now than uh, later. Five, three, so we go five, four. That one should be fine. Five, five. That one should be fine. Five, six. This one to be moved. Five, seven. Why? Why did I do so many that were on the left? Like that. Five, eight. Five, nine. Five, ten. And then five, eleven doesn't matter because that's the end. Okay. While I'm here, I guess we'll just fix 4-6 as well. The uh, pressure plate, this one, is not on top of the ice. Because ice is above background zero, so it was hiding. Didn't I just... hold on. I said it's a one, did I not? And then it just like disappeared. Oh, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. We'll just get rid of that. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Um, one thing I do want to do here, though. Uh, level 4-9. Hey, do you want to come into here real quick, please? Thanks. <laughs> We're cheating. that depositor lime yeah. oh wow I beat the level yep sure did I'm just I'm just gonna go down through here now bye okay so having done that it, it should change my um thing a thingy thing a thing 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 a thing 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 the uh end level location should next be the next one now i just want to point out even i don't know what the hell i just said right there but the next level that i hit continue on should be level 410 if it's not all oh, supper I do it, but whatever. Yes. Or ten. All right. All right. He's gonna talk. I forgot. God forbid he shuts his fucking mouth. Okay. So now we're just gonna copy him. Cut him. We're gonna need to cut the entire dialogue area. Boop. Boosh, boosh, boosh. File, save as 4 10. Nice. There we go. Okay. Easy, easy. So now we have blocks and they go into. Right, this level. Okay. First things first, I need to go here and get these moved through here. I have that. Now we want to get another block and then I can just get that one loaded up against this wall here, just ready next time. And then we'll go through this one and one more time. Push this one down here, which opens up that gate. We can go through here, go through this one, push it up against that. That gate. And we'll push more blocks in once again. I want to get a block ready for right there. Okay. Time for more blocks. One, get two. Two and I go through here once, not twice. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, we're gonna go around here for a second and then we get both of you over to here. There we go. I don't have to worry about that little corner piece there, so we're just gonna move this guy here. I hit that so we can come through here, come through here, come through here. And the problem is now I have to go up here. Over to here, make sure there's enough room, for God's sake. Get this guy pushed down to here. Open up that door. I can go through here, up to here. And we're going to need one more thing for that one. And we need another one for this one, too. So we're going to go through here. Luckily, on this downward one, we can go ahead and just push the block through this way. And then wait for it. Go up over. Okay. I'm just going to use this pitfall to my advantage to get back home quickly. Uh, we're going to go through here again. Actually, I think I do need another one. <clears throat> I won't be able to push it through here, though. So wait for it. Go. 
Okay. So let's push that block there. Then we can go back and get another one. I'm going to go ahead and get two loaded up for here. Actually, I need three for this one, but I don't think I can use a third in that spot right there. Okay. Push it up. Push it over. Push it up. And we're going to go over here to the pressure plate. Boop. Okay. We're going to have to go through it a couple of times in order to get through. That is fine. This. Okay. Can I do two at once here? I think I have enough space to get two of these through and then also move them without triggering the uh, thingy here. Okay. Nice, I got two through. So let's go ahead and move this one through here first. I do need another, like one last block. That's that's fine. Oops. <laughs> okay. So I will go ahead and push this one up to here, over to here. This one I will go ahead and just shove into here. And let's go get our final block. Wrong portal. My bad. Boop boop boop. Boop boop boop. Also, what's nice here is uh, when we do finish getting all the screenshots, we'll have already basically playtested the game uh, to the point where we can tell how long it takes to beat. So we can get our, our values gauged. There will be a little bit of stuff we have to change. Ugh. But that's fine. Mm. 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 Okay. We're on the last stretch. Just 10 more levels, then need a picture taken. And then, oh. Okay. Good shot. File. Not save as, obviously, you idiot. Get this first. File, save as, 5-1. Okay. Ugh. Let's restart the level so the timer resets and I can... Excuse me? <laughs> what? Oh my god, when I remade the level, I didn't assign the trigger. Oh my god, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Simple fix. Simple fix. We're fine. We're fine. Fine. <sighs> nice. There's also one other thing that I want to do um, before we wrap things up anyway. Okay, we'll hit continue, which should take us to level 5-1. Okay. Oh god, I forgot it's stronger than me. It's stronger, but slower too. Oh. It, it got misaligned. Not fair. You can't do that. 
Stop moving my blocks, you jerk. Okay. Come on, you can't do that. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll have him do some of the work for me. Move that block over here. Thank you, good sir. Gonna run away now. This one's fast. Ah, don't push that up, you jerk. Can I get him to push both of these blocks for me? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay. We need to get some space between me and him now. All the blocks are getting positioned into the correct location, more or less. Um, so let's get him over to here. Let's go. Remember, if we can get to the hole in time, we can avoid getting hit by him, but that's not going to work. These levels are so stressful. We can reset my position here. Ah, crap, he's going to move all three of those blocks. Ah, uh, that really hurts to see. Got to leave our room time to move around. But little did he know I can move three blocks at once too, except he's gonna just move them right back. The dick. Do that room here. Let's get him to do work for us again, if possible. There we go, there we go. Oh, fuck me. Because I moved that damn hole too close. Whatever, I'll accept it. I'll just change that. Um, three, level five dash one, hole, or exit too close to hole. That's what I'll say. God, stop talking, sir. Okay. Let's go. And let's go. Come on, slime, keep up. Fuck me, okay. And let's go, and he gets fucked again. What? Well, come on, you, you made that. Come on, you made it past there. He's gonna get like off at the last worst possible time. Oh, got him. Okay. Oh, I don't know how I managed to do that, but thank God I fucked up there though. I think the key is to like, for the first one anyway, wait until the first projectile goes. And here, you basically just gotta wait, bring him up a little bit, get behind that one, get over here, nice, get down through here. Fuck! I got hit by projectile that time. Okay. Also, I just messed this up because I have to wait for the first projectile to fire. Then we go. too jumpy on the release. Fire. Let's go. Fire. And 
let's go. Do, 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 do. The middle one I'm quite good at right here. That one, nice and easy. Easy peasy, if you would say so. You son of a bitch, quit hitting me! How'd you say me again? I think we fucked up. Oh my god, I could have just killed myself over there by going behind that tower. This one is really rough. Like, you have to be so careful with it. You can't let it get too close to you, and you can't go too far ahead of it, or all this other jazz, right? Little guy, come on, come on. No, we would have had it if I would have been just a little bit smarter. I don't know how that projectile missed me, but I'm not going to question it. So we go here, we go up now, up this way, over this way. <laughs> Fuck you. That second tower is what's getting me every time. Like, I, I can get this part perfected, and then I'll just, like, get ruined by the second tower. Yep. Come on. Ooh. I gotta do something there to like delay it for like a second. I'm not sure what. But I have to do something. It just at the same rate of the fucking projectile. Maybe I get it stuck for like a second here. Out. I think the first time I did this in the training, not the training, the, uh, the Unity editor, is I actually just said, like, screw it and just went up here, like, normal, and then just, like, did that, yeah, baby, okay. Okay, so stay to the right on the first thing, then go to the left, I think is what we have to do there. I just gotta throttle it a little bit there. Okay. The last two towers we'll, we'll learn. We just gotta get there repeatedly. Oh, 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 fuck. What, what happened there? Like, I did the same thing as usual, but it just kind of messed me up a little bit further. Wait right here. After that one fires, we go. Let me go up. Okay. Let me go down here. Over to here. Back over to here. No! Hit the pressure plate, you bastard! <laughs> Fuck you. Like, I have to make sure that I can do this in the actual game. Because if I can't, then... Players are going to have a bad time. This might be the hardest level. Just because you don't know for sure when to go. I could slow the projectiles down a little bit, I guess, but where's the fun in that? Ooh, I almost messed up right there. I wonder if that little time is going to cause me any issues in the future here. It was, yep. Come on, Red Slime, let's go. Let 
Okay, so that's how you do that one. And then from here, we just do that, and we're out! Yes! Yatta! Oh! I don't know why, but that is just so exhilarating when you finally get that one gone. It is. C'est magnifique. Hmm. Okay. So this one's a little bit different from the other levels, right? Because we can actually set the level up for the slime before we go into it. So this is going to be 5-3. So before we release the slime, we just want to make sure we get him to a little safe area here. So we'll just seal off all of these. make sure that the slime has ample room and stuff to move. And the last thing we're gonna do, we're not gonna use this to seal off another thing. We're just gonna push this one directly over here. Then we're gonna free the slime, save as much time as possible. I'm gonna have him come as close to the ceiling here as we can. Slowly inch our way forward. We're gonna jump down to here, over to here, we need him to get into the pressure plate for us, just like this. You'll hit it, we'll leave. Nice, okay. Still pretty crazy to me how uh, <clears throat> the uh, second level of World 5 is probably the hardest level. Okay. Grab another screenshot for this level. By four, and of course I forgot to uh, remove the slime and stuff. That's great. At least I can just control S after that. Okay, so let's reset and spawn our blocks here. Yeah. And go. I think I can do one more right here. This, and we can push them along here. Push them down. So really, this level is however you want to do it, you can get to this area. Um, and push these in. Whether you want to get another row going down below as well, or if you want to do three at a time, like this. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so we'll continue going on here. One, two, now, three, push them. Then let's go ahead and get these ones racked up. Freed the red slime yet. It's already been a minute and a half. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Alright. To release the slime. I forgot the slime is a slow mover. But it's gotta come to us slowly and surely. As we lure it towards the pressure plate. Come on, come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. We're gonna get him on the pressure plate. Go. Minutes 30. Ugh. Okay, 
I remember this one. Files, save as, 5-5. Oh my god, only five more screenshots. Five more screenshots and we'll be done, boys. Okay. So I need to... I think what I can do is I can convert this one like this. I can then get this one down here and just kind of nudge this one in like that. And I can just kind of pull this one over, down, and I can push this one in. I don't even have to do the uh, convoluted way that I intended the solution. Do it like this. I probably don't want to put that one there. I'll do that. Fuck it. Let's go. Meow. Ah, oh, crap. Well, eh, yeah, sorry. Eh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna release the slime. It's gonna spawn a block. Let's move it up here first. Okay. Then we'll come down here and respawn it. We're gonna spawn another block. We'll go ahead and move that here. Leave. And then respawn it again. And try to move it directly here. And then if we can just bop this one up. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Okay. I'm not here for me, would you lad? We'll move this one back up to here. Fill it again. Come on, reset. All the way down. Come on, as fast as you can. Ah. Although maybe we could just use this to our advantage to get out of here, huh? We can. <laughs> nice. Whatever works. Because if I can do it, the player can do it. And that's that. Um, right, so this is the the, uh, the slime. It moves the inverse blocks. And we don't have to move anything, really. And we can get stuff in position for him to move. But other than that, we don't do anything. For that, for that, a little bit missed. Go, and boop, boop, boop. Save as 5-6. Okay. So really what I could do, I could just get these all into like position. Or at least moved a little bit closer. We don't have to make so much of a mess. Necessarily. I don't know if this will help or hurt, considering it has more obstacles to go through now here, but we'll see. Okay, so we have these lined up. Let's free the slime. I'm gonna have him go up higher. That way I can kind of get him to come around and hook down. It's gonna be the plan here. And then we're gonna start going down now. And here we go. All right, first one, easy peasy. We're gonna go over here, get him to slide the block into here. He's gonna go away now. I'm gonna get this block ready for him though. And we need to come back up here again. Go around. Fuck, why did I do that? Whatever, screw it. We're just gonna do it this way. That's so annoying. I spend like so much time moving the blocks and then he just resets. Ah, oh, what a dick. <laughs> no, stay away. Stay away, you bastard. 
I can also just come down this way, maybe. Nope, can't do that. I think I could, but nope, I cannot. Okay, so we're gonna go. We gotta make sure he hits the block and then moves it so he has enough room on the right side. We can move over here and push it in. Nice. And while he's respawning, we can do this. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. I'm gonna have to reset that one. We might be able to just barely have him do it. Oh, that was way too close right there for me. Um, if we go like this, we might be able to just barely squeeze in right there. Yes! We did it. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We're done. <clears throat> This level's really all just about <clears throat> getting them in position and stuff for the slime to push. Because he's a little bit slow, you know? But that's okay. We, we like our little slime slow so he doesn't touch us as quickly. Right up here. Right down here. Now we just gotta get in the car. Well. This might actually work in our favor, because now we can just stand here and have him hit it downward and do this. Oh, don't touch the block, you bastard. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get him into this hole. Then come up out of it. Get him right there. Go. Here we go. We got one more to do. Okay. We got this. We get lure him into the hole. Have him come across again. There we go. All right, good job, slime. We did it. Me and you, we did it. Well, of course, now we have to get him out of that hole. We can get in there. Got to be very careful not to get hit, and then we're done. Also, hold on. Um, if level five one was too close to the exit. Probably level 5-6 was as well. I didn't test it, but I'm sure we could have probably ended up falling into there. So I might have to make some minute adjustments. But anyway, that's fine. a little bit of them down there. There we go. Oops. Boop. Boop. File save as. 5-7. Okay. So remember correctly here, we want to have that like that. That one we want to be green. Those want to have that way. So let's release the slime. Come down here, would you, friend? He's gonna spawn the first destroyer block. Which... wait. I think I'm remembering that destroyer blocks can actually destroy the dispensers. Not the dispensers, the uh, depositors down below. Which is not great, because you could just put a depositor down here, push it in there, and do that. So, uh... One second. Make a note. Level 5-7, add a, oops, add a block void before the depositor 
So you can't can't destroy it with a destroyer smiley face. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And up that one goes. Okay. Then we flip that. We flip that. So those are ready to go out to their location. I just need to double check on all of these things. So that one makes it a block void. That's what we need to do. That one needs to be there. This lever flips them the other way. So let's go here. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Singularity is created. All right. Excellent. Um, we can now just push it down through here. <laughs> Excellent. First try, too. Very great. You'd love to see it. But we have one block left to get. And I'm not sure we can get it, actually. I'll have to check. Fine. Oh, we want to get that rid of it. Um, hey, Slime, can you come up here for us? Actually, I could go through there and touch the block, right? Could, could I? I don't think I can, actually. Come on. Come on, Slime. I need you to, I need you to get up here and touch me. Fucking touch me! Maybe it is stupid to have that extra pressure plate up there. I'm just gonna say it. Anyway. So we can go ahead and come down here. I can just destroy that with that, but the, the problem is we also need the slime to get out, uh, which he doesn't seem to want to do. Bastard, how dare you do this to me? Okay, well, that's fine. Let's just quit. So, first of all, level 5 1. The, uh, the exit's a little bit too close to that. As you can see, the thing here overlaps. So, let's go ahead and just move this guy over a little bit. It's not going to be a perfect square anymore, but you know what? That's fine because if we look now, we should not have this happen. So we'll hit save, and then also in 5-6, this guy, the depositor, we can move them over a little bit, because it won't matter too much for our intents and purposes, just so the hitbox is not uh, overtaking them, right? And then let's check the other ones as well. Um, so for this one, obviously, the slime, it's not going to be able to to work the way I want it to work. So we're going to go ahead and just delete all of this stuff that we have that's extra. Uh, that gate, this pressure plate, these block voids. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to delete those two. This one I'm going to, like I said, put here. So now it's, it's literally just the, the slime and our, our guy here. So. Do. And just in case the slime gets like that, that's, that's how that's going around. That's fine and dandy. Okay, hit save here. Also, I need to change the depositor to be 101 to just a flat 100. Because if it's not, then the singularity can't fill it and we can't get by. So, easy peasy with that one. Let's check out 7 8 now. That one shouldn't be a problem. A 9, that one shouldn't be a problem, and a 10 shouldn't be a problem with anything else. Okay. Getting hungry, I'm going to have some crackers real quick.
I'm not going to change the sign number. Um, screw that. But we'll do that. Okay. So that takes care of both of those things easily enough. Um, we're almost done. Okay. Let's get rid of all that. It was 5-7, right? I'm just going to cheat my way past this one. I don't want to deal with it right now. Get rid of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and find the depositor, wherever the fuck it is. Turn that off. Then I can just go... Boom, mission completed! Yeah! Okay. And then we just go ahead and I'm going to delete that file, build project, build it. Yes. Yes, save. <clears throat> okay. Doing good, doing good. We'll just have to remember that some of our scores, our high score numbers, um, were cheesed. So I think it's only like two of them that were. But we'll know if it's like under like seconds or I guess around five seconds. Because it cannot be under five seconds. Because that is not able to do so. Anyway. I did just notice one other thing uh, before we go any further. Uh, five seven, please. Um, there's two conveyor belts here. I can just barely see the other one. And I remember, if I remember correctly, I was like, we need to get rid of that one because it's going to cause issues. Uh, so no wait, no, we added that one because it was going to cause issues if we didn't. Right. Never mind. Okay. Anyway. Um, right. The obvious trap is to push this into the pitfall, but we need this block for that pressure plate. Okay, so... We release him. He goes bye-bye. We go up to the top here. Once he hits the pressure plate, we flip the lever. And we fuck up because I'm an idiot. Reset the lever. I went down too quick. I got a picture of this, right? No, I did not. Reset the level. I was just so excited to start that I just like freaked out. I don't know, man. There and there. File, save as, 5-8. Ah, oh, we're so close. Okay. Right, release. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? No, because does resetting fuck up? Surely not. The resetting fucks him up, doesn't it? It does somehow. I don't know how, but it does. How? So when we... We need the enemy script open. So when we reset... Is sliding, Tavares touching, velocity zero... We aren't resetting the conveyor velocity? Is that right? Or not? Hmm. 
I don't know why we weren't. That was a uh, weird oversight. What about the sliding? <laughs> mm. Okay. All right, once more, we need to just remake the game. Hold on. Is that the graph error? Graph error, okay. Saw an error and I was like, hmm, hold on. That's just the stupid graph error that we've been seeing. Uh, uh, I need to stand up for a second. Uh, stretch a little bit. What is the temperature outside right now? It is currently 90 degrees. Gross. Well, actually, that was an hour ago. Let me refresh and we'll check again. Yes, 91. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to go for a walk today either. Gross. Anything over like 85 outside is just nasty. It's just so gross. I don't know why anyone would want to go outside like that. Okay, anyway. Let's go ahead and play the level now. This should work. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a little upset. But hey, that's just what happens sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to reset the level just to check to make sure it does work. I'm probably going to end up resetting the level again anyway, because we're going to mess it up. Hey, bud, why? Why do you like this red slime? Hmm? Why do you like this? So does he just become invincible to the conveyor belts after we reset? Um, that's not the right ball. We're on 5-8, my bad. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. We'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to think about what exactly is the cause of this problem. So here's some music.
All right, I'm back. I'm gonna keep the music going for a little bit here. Um, okay, so a couple of things that it could be. Either when the slime is getting respawned, the conveyor belt is not registering, it's entering him, first of all. That's probably the reason why it's getting like able to walk across to the left and hit the, uh, the thing here. But I don't think that's the case entirely. So let's hit play and let's just see what the slime is doing when it's resetting. So let's select our red slime. I'm going to close the box collider. That doesn't matter to us at all. Um, we can see its vol velocity and stuff here. Um, we can see the conveyors touching is number one. And if we actually add the debug components, I'm going to hide the animator as well. It's just going to get in the way. So we can see, but where's the velocity? Isn't velocity somewhere here? Oh, hide an inspector is selected. That's why I'm not seeing them. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just do this. But that's what I want to see. Okay. So we're going to go back to normal debug mode. That way we can see all this stuff. Now we can see the conveyor belts information. So if we hit play, we will see, once we delete the clone here, select the red slime, um, we have him currently being affected by conveyor belt uh, going 2-2, two, two, right? So let's free him. And his stuff will change, sure. Uh, there we go. And then there we go. So now we can see his stuff is changing all that good jazz. But if we hit reset now, back in the cage, conveyor change is saying two, total change is zero, conveyor's touching is zero, which is not what it should be. Um, so when we do free him, he's going to get out of the conveyor he was in, and that's going to cause it to go to negative one for his moving thing. Um, so now if we hit reset again, we can see that that's the stats that we were expecting to see the first time. And if we free him now, he's sort of just getting stuck entering and exiting a conveyor belt. Which, uh, not what we want to see. I'm not sure why that is exactly happening. Probably because of where he is respawning at. So let's do this. I'm gonna grab the enemy spawn. I'm actually going to unlock it. We're gonna move it a little bit to the left here, a little bit up higher. And let's see if that just minute adjustment does anything. Cause I'm wondering if maybe he's like on the like edge between two conveyor belts, and it's just messing up the AI. I say AI, but it's just code. Um, so let's check now. So there he goes. He's going bye-bye. We'll hit reset. So we have information that we don't want there. Um, we'll see what happens if we hit this. OK, so the same thing happened the first time. What about the second time? Same thing happened, okay. What if we go a third time? Have we gone a third time before? Right now, all of his stuff is at zero. We hit this, he just runs back towards us, okay. So the question is, what happens, what is he doing right when we hit play? We need to somehow get back to that state. The red slime, he's at zero, or one, two, two, where this information is moving, as triggered, is sliding are all off, right? 
Um, but there's also conveyor belts to think about. And it is saying that there's a lot of colliding objects with it, I guess, huh? We're missing a collider there. Hmm. That's odd. But I don't think this really matters. Actually, it does matter. Hmm. Because if we were to have the slime reset, the conveyor belts are never going to let go, right? I think it might be an issue with the conveyor belts. So if we open up the conveyor belts here, open this up here. Um, we do have reset conveyor belt. But that is for destroyer blocks. What we want to do here is we want to take the colliding objects dot clear. We want to clear out the colliding objects there. And if we go to our reset, level reset, um, convey. I don't have conveyors here, huh? And what was calling it? I guess the destroyer blocks were? Okay. Let's do a serialized field game object convey. I was spelling it right. I was just, for some reason, my brain was like, that's not how you spell that. Or you type of that there. I'll make a list of conveyors. And <clears throat> I guess what we want to do after the uh, slime. Where's the enemy at? Right here. So after the enemy gets done, we want to check if conveyors, not converter, conveyors does not equal null, which is the only case it is, we want to do for each game object g in conveyors g dot get component conveyor uh, script damn it convey label script there we go then we want to do set reset conveyor like that we just want to reset them all so when we reset the conveyor belts, they will, um, for each colliding object, it's going to go through. If the game object is not equal null, and the game object is not equal tile map, it's going to check if the game object component is not equal null, and it's going to reset the destroyer block thing there. Okay. We're going to keep that in there, and at the end, we're going to clear the list of um, objects, I think. Okay. So let's try this and see what happens. Of course, we're going to have to go here and add conveyors. All the conveyors. What, what, what is this? Oh, that's right. That's just the thing for them. Okay. Um, so we just need to go boop, 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 conveyors right down there. A lot of them is going to be a pain in the ass. That's fine. Unlock that. Uh, so this is just going to be a test for it. We're not necessarily going to be doing anything that will affect anything here. If this works, we'll have to do it in the, uh, the prefab as well, but we'll see whether or not this works. So he's moving, whatever. Reset him. How's the collider has been destroyed or you're trying to access it? What? Where? Hmm. 
But shouldn't that be if game object equals null? Isn't that a fucking null or is it not? Hold on. Unity, how to check for missing game objects in code. just checking if it's equal to null, but oh, damn it, that's exactly what I had, and it's not working. Three. Hold on. So I, I think let's do a public void reset level conveyors. And we'll just do this. Okay, we're gonna leave that reset alone. Because that one works for destroyer blocks. This one we'll do reset level conveyors here. And I think that should work. That way we don't have to interfere with the destroyer object. We can just say screw it. We just want it to reset uh this stuff. So hold on, let me get rid of the clone level. Okay, so now, if we were to move this down, free our slime pal, he's gonna go bye bye. Now we reset the level. Try it again. Fuck, the same thing happens, really? Fuck. Okay. Um. Where is the reset level script? Um, so we reset this line first, and then we transform him. So that should work, but it's not working, right? Right? You know what, we have, hold on. We have extra room up here, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I'm going to come down to our prefab. I don't know how to fix this issue, so we're just gonna work around it by doing this. Tile palette. We're going to remove these two blocks and we're going to make them like this bang and then we're going to take our slime enemy and our enemy respawn we're going to move them up here bloop so that way Everything should be fine. Now it's not going to start on a conveyor belt. It's going to just this. Of course, we're going to have to try it again here anyway. So let's test it. See if it works. Okay. Okay, so we're going to lure it onto the conveyor belt. So it goes down, does its thing. Okay, we're gonna reset. So now it's not on a conveyor belt, so there shouldn't be any confusion whether or not it's on or it's off, yada yada. But there is still, for some reason. Why? Hey, Red Slime, what's your stuff here? What if we come back up here? Conveyor touching is negative one. Okay. Let's restart one more time so I can get the exact information 
that our red slime is experiencing. So right now, he's not touching any conveyors. He's not doing anything weird. We're gonna free him. He's gonna come down here. He does his thing. We're gonna hit reset. Does resetting count as exiting? Apparently it does. So if I were to remove setting the conveyor belt, the total conveyor change, and the conveyor touching to zero in the code, Does that mean, when I hit play this time, it will work? Was that the whole issue? Right now, the slime, fine and all, we'll hit reset. Everything on him goes to zero, zero, okay. If this was the issue, I'm gonna be just It's working. Let's reset one more time because the third time there was also issues that were coming up. Oh my gods. Okay, well, figured out the issue. Okay, so in the uh, the reset level script, I'm going to go ahead and um, remove the conveyors because we don't need those reset. That's just extra code we don't need. I'm not sure if it's gonna save any space or anything, but something. Okay, so let's go ahead and just delete the game world one more time, hit save here, we'll build the game once more. And that should fix a problem with that level at least. And then hopefully the next two levels are just fine. I think level 5, 10, and 5, 11 at least, they're going to be just fine. We don't have too much to worry about there. It's going to be fine. Just fine. And of course, let's go ahead and pause our music. All right. Continue. Okay, we're gonna free him. Come down here. Lure him down to this path. We're gonna go all the way up to here. To hit this one. Get him over there. Lure him down to here. Hit this one. Wait for it. Move up. Get that one. Move down. Hit this one. I think it can't move any further down, dude. I'm gonna have to come up and then like this. Come on, don't fuck with me right now. Do not fuck with me. Are you kidding? Can't go down far enough to get him in there. Shouldn't that reset him? Something's fucky with him right there. Hmm. Alright, you little bastard, fine. Let's just try one more time. 
I would at least like to be able to just pass this level. I'll fix that later. We got in! Hell yeah! Okay, which means I can just do this. Get the fuck out of there. Alright. Okay. One more screenshot after this one, thank God. Oops. Five dash nine. Okay. Oops. Okay. Come on, come up here. Okay, let's go. Meow. Locked off, sir. All right, so we're gonna push this one down here. Figure that. Pull this one over here. Pull this one up to here. Go around. Push it up. Push it over. Get that. Come down here to get the slime out of my way. Maybe. Oh, just barely. Okay. Continue hitting that. Get with those over there. Come a little slime. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna just get him into this room. There we go. Okay. Just push these two down. Boosh, boosh, flip, flip, and I am out this bitch. Okay. Mm. Okay. Final screenshot. The final one, y'all. File, save as, 5-10, and we're finally done. All 50 pictures have been made. Now let's go. Gotta use the slime to your advantage, baby! Meow! Lover, boosh. Okay. Oops, that messed me up there. Let's get him in a pit. <clears throat> Not that that's gonna help me too much right there, but... Oh, what? Right over the block void there. Right, it... I, I don't know why I forget that the slime is stronger than me, and so it can literally just... push me off of uh, everything. All right, I forgot I can walk kind of between. I just... Fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Free! Not at all what I wanted to go with it. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up trapping myself by going into those holes like that at some point. Don't don't destroy my fucking block, you dick! Ah, damn. 
I notice I'm trying to avoid every single void and not just the block voids. And that's throwing me off, I think, because I, I could really get some better stuff in here if I did not try to avoid the block voids like I am. Or the, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like avoid the block voids, but I should not be doing that. No. Okay. We have one more area to do. We just have to get enough blocks down there. That, oh my god. If I, if I die here, I'm gonna be so upset. I just went through a fucking portal again. Uh, uh. Bam. Get away. And I'm gonna take a exit stage right a maneuver there. That tickled me a little bit. Oh fuck, it also went in a fucking pit. No! I was expecting more time! Excellent, 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 excellent. Let's go. I think that one block next to that player void is gonna be super rude. I'm not sure I can do anything with it. I might be able to just get it past barely. Oh my god, no! Oh, he block voided it anyway. <clears throat> The greatest play would be if I could get him to, like, move the block shit for me. Like that. Oh. Okay. You know what? Yeah, this one's too hard. It would be great to just eat up the player's time, but I feel like that's just, it, it's, that's too much, right? We're gonna make a change here. We're gonna remove this depositor. And we'll just place another pitfall there. We don't have to do it once. So, we're a little bit kinder, I feel, if we do that. Kinder to me, to just beat the two and whatnot, you know? Okay. Save. Go ahead and just delete. One more time. Go back here. File. Build project. Build. Build. Nice. Okay. So I think now we have basically the uh, the route plan for all of those. Also, I could have <sighs> cancel. We have all our screenshots now. We can assign them and finish. Okay. So, close that. I'm going to delete the file that was just generated. Okay. Main menu, open. Menu canvas. Um, first of all, we need to open up our level screenshots folder. So five, four, or four, five is the last one. So we can just go ahead and drag in all of these guys to here. Okay, so this one was done, but these ones are not. So we got that, that, apply. Okay, so now if we click on our main menu canvas, we have our level buttons, our level images and whatnot. Let's go ahead and hit the lock here and open up all of these. Okay, so sort of the little five images just because it's going to be easier to do that and not just scroll down each time. We got the little four images. Boop. And we got the level three images here. Boop, boop, boop. All right. So bop, bop, bop. 
and Bob. Okay. So now all we have to do is go in to our level select panel, open that up, go to our world panel, um, I think it's these here, right? I just want to double check. All these have been done. Yep. Okay. Hold one, hide that. Yeah, okay, so world two, five, six, three. I think world two is done. If I look here at the yep, okay. Right, so I don't actually have to open these up any further than I currently have them. I can just drag them over and replace the thumb thumbnail. So let's just do that. So five, uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. World five is done. Close that. Okay, next, world four. So 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. All right, next up, world three. So, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Oh my god. Okay, so with that, all of our world panels and stuff are completed. We can go ahead and hide that panel, and we can actually go to our... Uh, where was that stuff at? Was it assets? GUI? Yeah, this thumbnail button, this icon, we can just go ahead and get rid of it. Later on, dude. Like that. Okay. Hit save. And I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of our testing space because we don't really need it. So our main menu is going to be the very first thing to see. And let's go ahead and file, build project, build. <sighs> now looking at our to-do list, everything is gone. Um, this is just basically notes for things. We don't have to do anything else. We should just be okay. So now, assuming that the next couple of levels are completed, are completable, without issue, we should be good. All right, open it up one more time. Make sure that we can beat them, because we're on level 10. If we continue, we're on level 10. We just have to gesture wildly. Okay. Flip it, go back. I'm down here, little slime. I'm gonna have him, uh, oh, I was gonna have him push the block, but uh, apparently that's not gonna be the case now. Having to kite the enemy is just such a pain in the ass. Yeah, cool, Th thanks, thanks for destroying that, uh, that block for me, slime. Uh, really, really happy. That one got out of the way. Almost way too close. And go. Didn't want both of those over here, but whatever. Go ahead and get him killed. That way I can push this down here. <laughs> Remember now, we need to flip that switch and also get out of there. 
before he has a chance to get us. If I can get him to push, damn it. I was like, if I can get him to push that block for me over there, that would have been just superb. But uh, I'm not starting to mess up here, hold on. Okay. If I come down here, lure him up, hit this, I can get him to come over here with this block and move it for me. And I can just dip this way. I can come all the way back over to here. And when he's down here, I can give him the old juke. I should have just fell in a hole, to be honest. That would have been a little easier, wouldn't it? I come down here, flip that, wait for it, and go. All right, so now he's got to get to the destroyer block, destroy the slime, before he touches me again. Oh, come on, slime, touch it. Kill yourself. There we go. All right. And with the slime defeated, we can leave unabated. All right. This will be a final experiment. To begin it, just step on the pressure plate. Okay. Ha! Ah, fell right into my trap. You're correct. Well, not that you had any other options. Sorry, kind of a jerk move on my part, I guess. But you are a valuable research subject. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, yeah, testing has just begun. The intelligence experiments are over. As I mentioned, you have various substances to try new slimes, just like the ones that created the red slimes. <laughs> so you can think of this as the end of your freedom to roam around. Hope you can get comfortable in that cage, as you won't be getting out again. Now let's see, I'll just note down all the data I've gotten, and we can add it to the rest. After that, I think it'll be time for a nap. Then I think I have some new slimes to put through the intelligence experiments. Ah, not that it matters much to you, does it? I forgot that this magical device was still broadcasting my voice. Well, little slime, it has been a journey, hasn't it? I will use the data that I have you provided to further my research. I look forward to the other results that you will provide me with. <laughs> and the timer is still up in the upper left, so that's great. So, anyway, we're just, I'm just going to hit the, uh, the K key. Cool. It does, but the timer still stays up there. Um, so, hide timer after game ends. Smile. Okay, but after that, that should be fine. So now if we uh, also, um, the cursor's not showing up, so show cursor to smile. Okay, so now if we, uh, I'm gonna hit continue, and then I'm gonna go back to the main menu. So now I actually have my mouse, and we can check the world selection page, make sure everything looks good, there's no issues here. I like how as we, like, went through, we progressively used less of the, uh, movable blocks. In fact, I could I could just like get rid of them entirely and just make them walls, but this is how they're used at times, right? And you can see the screenshot thing at the top of each and every one of these screenshots too. That's just great. Level 10 just stands out so much. Where are my times? <clears throat> it might just be because I rebuilt the game. Yeah. 
I think when I rebuilt the game, it uh, reset my saved times. Do I remember having to reset it? Or we rebuilt the game there, and then we don't have any more times. But we also rebuilt the game, like, just now, too. without one bullshit. Man, I was really hoping to get like a, a sense of how long the game was going to be from this, but... Don't think we're gonna. So yeah, the last thing we want to do is adjust that last level thing. So um, let's load this up. And the end level, uh, end level script, we need to, first of all, when that happens, we need to find the timer. And I don't remember, if we look at... Is the timer in GM? Timer script. Was it GUI though? GUI, canvas, timer, timer, perfect. Okay, that makes it easier. So uh, when this happens, has triggered equals that, we can then just do game object dot find game object with tag timer dot set active equals false, easy peasy. And then once we go to a load domain menu, we can do, uh, I forgot what exactly the cursor is, this one. Also, we need to do a, a game object, dot find game object with tag a gm, dot get component gm, dot in main menu equals true, because we have to, of course, notify that we are in the main menu, right? Is there anything else that we have to do here? So is paused, is loading, is continuing, um, is new game, is level selected. I think that's everything we have to do, right? Let me, let me just check if we look at our pause menu. Script. Because it also takes us back to the main menu. So if we look at, should we confirm exit to main menu? We do all of this. So cursor is visible. Main menu in the GM is set to that. I don't think we have to change time scale. Timer gets set active. These menus get set to inactive. And then we just load. Okay, so that's all we have to do. Perfect. So that takes care of both of these. I show the cursor and hide the timer. And that's game complete, boys. Game is completed. So we're gonna go ahead and one more time build the game with the extra changes that I made here. Build it. Save it. Yay. All right. So this game will be up on Steam at some point. I already have the page for it. Um, let me see here. If I open up my Steamworks information and I look at my experiments. Um, Oh, I think I can actually just release it right away. Yeah, I think it's been a month since we started it, so 
like right after the game like came out i had basically um done that right uh some players on steam also it is on steam right now you can check it out it's, it's live currently here it is i'm going to update the screenshots i'm going to remove some of the more basic ones and add in some of the new ones we've taken it's gonna be great um we don't have a price for it yet i don't think i had priced it um if we edit the store page is this where i specify the price No, app admin. Oops, not there. Back. Uh, uh, where is the pricing? Oh, right. We could add uh, achievements and stuff, but I don't know. I, I don't think having would matter much. No pricing approved yet. View and adjust pricing. So since it is a very... Very simple game. Um, I think charging 99 cents for it would be fine. Um, it, it literally did not take me that long to make. In fact, if we open up my YouTube, I can go to the YouTube studio. We can open up our calculator. And we can actually just calculate exactly how long it took by adding together the hours that we've streamed. So we got four uh, plus five, plus three, plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four, plus five, plus four, plus three, plus three, plus four, plus four, uh, plus three, plus four, and then plus six from this one. That's gets six is sixty-eight hours. That's without minutes. Um, by the way, open up another calculator for the minutes. There's going to be 15 plus 57 plus 8 plus 23 plus 44 plus 52 plus 54 plus 3 plus 35 plus 38 plus 40 plus 54 plus 21 plus 57 plus 8 plus 10. That's going to give us 500 in that and then divide that by 60. It's going to be 8.65 hours. So we take the 68 plus the 8.65, and we can basically just round that up to uh, 77 hours because I did do a little stuff off stream, namely just designing the uh, icons and stuff. We'll just say it's 77 hours. So 77 hours divided by 24 hours in a day took me about three days straight, if we want to go that way of working. Uh, to make this game, Honestly, I didn't spend anything on it, except for the initial $100 to put it on Steam, which I probably won't even make that back with this game, throwing it out there. Uh, but yeah, so in the link of the description of this game, or of this video, I'll have a link to the uh, Steam page where you can wishlist it currently. I'm not sure when it's going to go live. I'll have to do a little more back-end stuff, because I have to upload the build to Steam, have them approve it, which takes three to four days, depending upon how fast they want to do it. And then I actually have to release it and whatnot. So it's going to be 99 cents. Like I said, you can get it on Steam. Um, I'll make a YouTube announcement when the game actually is available to purchase on Steam. So that way you can see it there as well. Um, yeah, I think that's really all that I have to do today. So let's go ahead and just we'll, we'll go to the projection screen here. And I'll put my arms down if I can find the right key for it. There we go. All right, so yeah, very simple game. It probably would have taken a lot longer had I uh, been an artist and been actually hand drawing everything and whatnot, or if I had to wait for artists to create things for me um, and whatnot. Uh, also, I could have added like a bunch of extra like stuff. Like I could have added like mirrors to have projectiles bounce off stuff and things like that. But, you know, I just wanted to kind of get this one out there and I had to have a stream for this. But I really want to work on my next project, which is going to be, uh, I'm going to call it Gunmancer Isekai, where it is a, uh, a first-person shooter, Doom-like kind of thing, where you play uh, as a, a guy or a girl, whoever. And it's going to be like gender neutral. We're not going to talk about the gender of the main character. It's going to be whatever. All you're going to see is like a leather glove as they hold the gun anyway. 
Um, they are going to be basically killed and sent to another world where God is going to be like, hey, this is a fantasy world. You know, the typical isekai thing where, uh, in like an anime, where you get uh, killed and then you get sent to another world with powers. And this power particularly is going to be uh, summoning guns and stuff like that, right? So the player, as he levels up, will be able to get guns like pistols, uh, some machine guns, assault rifles, rocket launchers, that kind of stuff, and go through, and he's just going to go in like a Doom-like fashion destroying monsters uh, and stuff like that. But where Doom and stuff has, you know, no real, like, stat progression, mine is going to have it be where you, when you kill a certain amount of monsters and whatnot, you will level up. And leveling up will allow you to buy newer weapons, well, spend stat points, I guess, on newer weapons. And not only that, but also spend them into, like, strength, HP, attack, uh, so, well, not attack, because attack is just gun-based anyway. Uh, but, like, HP for, like, you can survive longer. Um, strength will allow you to carry more health packs and potions, well, potions, not health packs. Um, uh, agility and speed, uh, well, I guess just speed, because agility and speed would be kind of redundant there, but... To let you move a little bit faster. Um, yeah, just kind of like that. And I'm not sure what else I would put in there, but essentially that is going to be that game. I, I'm talking to various artists right now. I, I, I talked to three artists. I've gotten the art back from two of them for them showing me how they make the... Uh, I was like, hey, I want, I want to figure out what artists would be good for this project, and so I was like, hey, um, you three, draw this monster, animated, and uh, let me know, well, I paid for it and whatnot, and then I saw them, and one of them was just god-awful. Um, I had to make a humanoid, and then a, a slime monster that was a little bit scarier than this one. And actually, I actually have it here, if I open up the uh, thing, I can... The sprite for it. If we go back to widescreen mutter. Yeah, see, it's, those, it's more like a toxic goo slime than a cute little ball slime, right? This is just its moving animation. I just had them do one animation moving to the left and whatnot, so I could just kind of see what they were doing. And then I had them make a humanoid one. This is one of the persons. Uh, they both, first named Multi on Fiverr, did these. And uh, this is the idle animation for a uh, for my character Jura, who I also want to put into a Metroidvania game that I want to make as well. But I want to get the Gunmancer one out first, uh, and then make this one after it. Um, but yeah, so this is that slime thing. It's cool. Um, so far, between the two artists that I've heard back from, I'm going to go with Multi. I think it's, their name is like it's like. Joey Young or Joseph, it's some J something Young um, is what their like, actual username on there is, but like their username is called Multi. Anyway, there's one more person who is supposed to be finishing it in the next couple of days, according to Fiverr's estimation of when they like said, yeah, I'll have it done by now. Um, we'll see how that turns out. But the other guy, the, the third, second person I got stuff back from, it was not that great. It was in fact quite bad. Um, it's almost something that I could have done myself. It just looked real poor. And this, this multi-person worked really well with me and was like, hey, this, this original design for your character is not going to work much because uh, it's just there's too much going on with it and we like worked to make various things happen um, and stuff like that. So it was, it was a very good experience for me, I think, there. Uh, the only problem with making a, a game like that that is uh, a slime, N not just like a, not just this kind of game where like, I'm gonna need like 5,000 just for monster sprites and stuff like that. Um, then there's also backgrounds to figure in. There's music, which I want to use original music. I don't want to get music that people have for free or that uh, I have to like pay to get music that's already been done. I want like completely original music that's never been used on anything ever before um, for both of these projects. 
and whatnot. So we're, we're probably looking at around $10,000 for the music, the backgrounds, the sprites. And then we have like the sound effects. We have visual effects like shooting fireballs, um, explosions, that kind of stuff. That's all going to add up into that. Uh, then there's the, the user interface graphics, which are going to be different from the background graphics, stuff like that. Just everything is going to go into that. Um, I really want to make a really great game. And so far, I'm quite satisfied with my I'm Just a Slime game. That one was fun. This one, considering it's just a simple puzzle game, it's okay. I really wish that I had like, all the money in the world so I could you know, make great graphics for this one. Um, but for what it is, this one, not bad. Like I said, it's only going to be like a dollar on Steam, so it's not too expensive for what it is. It's just like a two hour or so puzzle game, right? Um, but yeah, that's kind of the plan. Now, I don't plan on streaming any further uh, going forward for game development, uh, mainly because this is something I was doing Mainly just to see, you know, how it went to kind of like uh, log, log the right word, catalog the uh, development of this game. And I knew it was going to be a very short, simple game, so I wasn't going to spend like a huge amount of like years streaming it and whatnot. But also, sometimes you just want to do other things while you're, you know, developing and whatnot. You don't want to just be listening to music and paying attention to chat and all that good jazz while. You know, you're trying to code and get stuff to work right. Because sometimes you just sit there for like an hour just staring at a line of code being like, why don't you work sometimes? And, and we've seen that here at times where I would just stare at code for like five minutes and be like, why is this not working? <laughs> right? Or I like stare at a, a blank map and I'm like, okay, how am I going to build this level? Right? There's a lot of planning that goes into this stuff and whatnot. And I just rather do it off stream where I have all the time in the world and I can pull up another stream of someone else playing something and just be distracted myself and get inspiration from that perhaps and all that good jazz. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna stream anything for a while, I don't know. Maybe if I get some sudden inspiration to stream something or whatever, I'll do it. But right now this was just kind of a little lovely test thing. So, so not bad. I gotta say, it was fun and a little enjoyable experience and whatnot. So thank you all for coming along and watching this development of slime experiments. And if you are interested in the game, like I said, link in the description, you can get it for $1, technically 99 cents, then probably plus tax with Steam. And that's how you're gonna get it. And then I think I personally on Steam sales, I think I get, I don't remember if it's 50, percent or if it's like 80 percent or what it is let me search how much do sellers on steam make how much money do you actually get from selling a game mm. how much does steam make per game sold uh steam's cut is 30 percent, so i get 70 percent. okay yeah, so of the dollar, I get 70 cents, and they take 30 cents. So if we figure out 100 divided by 0 0.7, um, not 0 0.7, 0 0.7, right, or 0.7, I need to sell 143 games of this game. Uh, in order to get back the fee I spent to put it on Steam. So, yeah, probably not going to make money on this one, right? <laughs> but uh, I think going forward, I might not put my games on Steam unless they do successfully, or if I, I don't know, if I make a Kickstarter or something and get the money for it, that I can afford to do it, because I am running low on money, and I might have to just get a normal job um, in the coming months or years, whatever, depends upon what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, it really depends, but it's been fun. I like making games there. It's really cool. Like being able to build something and then play it and then see it in motion and doing things is just so fun, right? 
And then all the little bugs you find along the way that you're like, God damn it, I'm going to have to fix this nonsense and rah, 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 rah. And then when you actually finish it and fix it and you're like, oh my God, that was the problem. It's just so satisfying. And you know what? I hope that if anyone out there is watching my videos, is thinking about, you know, making a, a game themselves, maybe you learned a little bit. Maybe this inspired you to make your own games, make better games than I've made, you know? And, you know, that's what you'd be aiming for. Always try to make better games. Make games that you want to play. And that's kind of what I've been doing, is making games that I want to play, like RPGs or this puzzle game, which is, you know, fun to, to move the blocks around and figure out puzzles. Although, with a puzzle game, it's, it's less fun when you're the one who made it, when you're making it, or when you're playing it, because you already know, like, how to solve it, right? So it's not as fun for me when I'm playing the puzzle game that I made. But for the other games, I think it should be fairly fun. For the uh, RPG one, I'm Just a Slime that I made, that one was fun to make and play because uh, I was able to do stuff with it, right? Like, it, it's random battles for the most part, and I never knew what was going to happen or what my level was going to be or how the enemy was going to attack me because their attacks were all random configured as well. So that was all fun. And it's really going to be cool when I get the next two games out uh, eventually. I don't know, it, it might take a year or more for these games to come out. But, uh, or at least one of them to come out, not, not both. But the way I'm planning with the Gunmancer Isekai, the Doom like, is I really want to have a main story that's like all the levels are handcrafted, they're gonna be beautiful, and then I'm gonna make modular level parts that I can use to make kind of like a side quest kind of thing where it randomly generates a level with monsters inside of it, and you can just go through there. And it's going to be like endless content for you to do that. So that's kind of the hope of that one. But anyway, I'm getting a little raspy in my voice here, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> wrap things up. So thank you all for watching. Again, I don't know if I'm ever going to stream again or what I would stream if I do. Probably games and not coding if I do do that. But uh, thank you all for hanging out and watching. If you missed any of the development, it's going to be up on YouTube. Um, and if you are watching this on YouTube, Thanks for watching and uh, coming along this far and uh, all that. And if you followed along and have a game yourself, well, let me know and I'll, I'll play it and that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, until next time, everyone, bye for now.